rounds, one and three straight bars. Round two's for the personals. Yeah, this shit's lit for the bitch who's 6'6 six, six on a vertical. I murder him. Let's go! 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 Let's go!
Mm. So you, did you vote? Or you didn't? I voted, but, but what are I your views? Because we're not going to condemn you uh, for your own. I, views. I just voted for um, weed to be legal in Jersey, and um, it is. And that's it. I didn't How you get around to vote for weed to be legal in Jersey, but didn't vote for president? Well, I sent it in. I hope that they counted my shit, but. Okay. okay. Yeah, I sent mine in like a while ago. Like I did my mail like a long time ago. I don't. I think maybe sometime last week, month or something. I don't know. But yeah. I'm excited. I hope it does come down to him winning. I don't. Know. I really hope so. But anyways, um, I don't know if you guys know. I think her name. I don't even know her real name, but her Regine. name on Instagram. Oh, Regine. Duh. <laughs> I, heard, I was gonna say her Instagram name. This is so sad that Instagram names are like glued in my head. But anyways, <laughs> she unfollowed her father because he was in... Who's Regine? His daughter. Little Wayne's Oh, pro- um, Little Wayne. Little, oh, yeah. Okay. Little Wayne's... Pro- <laughs> I was like, who's Regine? <laughs> Little Wayne's daughter unfollowed him because of what he was doing. Um, I guess he was endorsing Trump or whatever oh, the case may right, have been. Right. Remember? Because yeah. he recently posted a picture with Trump or something well, like that. He had that. a meeting with him. He had oh, a meeting with him. God. I feel like... I feel like Trump paid so many people to like take a picture <laughs> like know. just to wait, support him. about Little, um, little Pump, but he called him Little Little Pimp. <laughs> Yo, I was like, wait, what? He's doing whatever he can. It, yeah, Last like any like... and everything. Didn't he? Wait, but hold on. He talks about my girl Beyonce. He always talking about Beyonce. He was like, he was like Beyonce. <laughs> I was like the disrespect. He talked about Lady Gaga. Everybody who was like for Biden, he was talking about. Like I didn't, I didn't appreciate that. Like people have their own different views. You just gotta respect that, and that's that. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You have something to um tag in about Lil Wayne. Well, yeah. Like recently, right before the election, Lil Wayne's girlfriend, um, she's like a model, Denise Bedo. I don't know how to say her last name, but she broke up with him. She's a model. Yeah. I, I think that. plus size model. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's a big girl. She's a big girl. Yeah. I just didn't know she was a model. Plus size. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. That's <laughs> cool. But she's still just, really. Yeah. yeah. But she's um yeah. So she, they were dating like a really long time. And Little Wayne is disgusting. I know. He do look a little. Um, like he's nasty. Like he seems like he could talk his way into anything though. I've heard that he has like a great presence. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. No, it's just because just he's like Little Wayne, so everybody's like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, that's true too. Pussy money weed. That used to be my shit. Pussy money weed. <laughs> yeah, that really used to be my shit. I'm sorry, Bro. but he's definitely cut though. Yeah, he's canceled. Canceled. <laughs> we canceling his ass out the culture. Period. But what? Oh, she dumped him. She because dumped he, him because he supported that, Trump. I didn't know. I saw I heard, something about but I heard that. He dumped her because really? she posted. Like voting for the Biden, Biden, right? Or something like that. Oh, really? I heard. I, heard I saw saying. that they broke up, but I didn't know what it was for. But it this was, made sense. Wow. Because, but wouldn't you have talked about that before? That's what I'm saying. That's so, like. So I got a question, right? So obviously there was money involved, right? With, with Wayne and Trump, right? So do you think some type she, of exchange? So do you think she was wrong for for going against him? And you know he's getting probably a nice life changing check for that. <laughs> He is already rich. I mean, like, mm-hmm. damn. Like, you know what's so crazy to me? I feel like the people, like, a lot of these entertainers that are already rich, it's just so crazy how, like, money hungry that they are. Like, what Like, what do you need all this extra money for? You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you're if you're going against, if you truly feel like Trump isn't a good president, you shouldn't vote for him no matter what amount of money. But I'm not even going to lie. Yo, this was so funny. I asked my family. I was like... Would you vote for Trump for a million dollars? <laughs> they was like, hell yeah. <laughs> my mom was like, no, no, I wouldn't. Me and my sister was like, mm. well, how? First of all, how, <laughs> yeah, I can't. how would they even know? Everybody's ballot is like, well, you if, mean, just okay, say so, you are. N- Right, that's what she said. But then, like, don't actually. But if if he told you to vote for him, post a picture on social media that you voted for him. That's like like already public. Like, yes, Mm -hmm. for a million dollars. Mm -mm. For a million dollars, I couldn't do it. No, you just say him. It's just no point. He's probably gonna kill you (laughs) after anyway. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) It doesn't matter. But um, all right. So let's move on from the election. We don't want to get into too much politics because we don't want you guys killing us. Anybody have anything to say in the chat about it? One person said that the news on Little Wayne's breakup was fake news from Hardcore Flava, but the proof is in the Instagram stories. Mm. They did both support like. She supported, yeah, they had totally different views and then they just broke up right before the election. So it is sketchy. And didn't we say something about that last episode? How, like, like, would you be able to date somebody who had a completely Mm, different view from you? That shit really comes into play. Like, whether it's now or down the line, that shit will come up no matter what. Yeah. And it's not even that. It's just, like, if you are supporting him, like, 
it you just have so much I, I feel like you're so I saw a post where it was like you're very selfish you're if you're voting for him, it just comes off to me like you're just like him in a way. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you're racist or anything, but you're only thinking about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Then I saw so many broke ass people like, yeah, I'm gonna vote for him because he number one gave me a stimulus check or he, he did more for the dollars. people. The but it's like, come on. Check. Wouldn't even approve. I don't even know what's gonna happen now. Like, get the what fuck back that go to. That shit That's went like in a day. day right? Like, I know. Why? Like, it did nothing. Like, thank it did you. Nothing. It wasn't but, enough for a vote. So again, right? I didn't vote for him. <laughs> but <laughs> I, like I look at things like I my life has not been negatively affected in four years by him being president. I, I've had nothing but like my 401k is good, my stocks is booming. Like, okay. So like that's what I'm saying. Like I, I, I get like what people are saying. I just don't understand like why both sides can't be right. You know, like Let me tell you why. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, church. You feel me? Take it to church. Let's go. People have this problem. Everybody's so into themselves. They're so into their lives. They're not. They're not looking at the bigger picture. Just because he may not have affected your life personally, he's still affecting other people's lives. So you have to take that into account. You get what I'm saying? Really? Like he. He's making it okay for the racists to come out and do shit that they're doing. Like, literally stopping on the Garden State Parkway, blocking people from voting. Like, he's making, like, you get what I'm saying? He's making that okay. Like, that's allowable. First of all, that's, that's a crime. You cannot do that. That's like, that's a hate crime. Stopping people from voting? Are you crazy? And and the fact that no no police were there, no, nobody stopped any of that action. There were like people following Biden supporters, like yeah, just to crazy. roll up on them. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I think there was some lady that got maced for some shit like that. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like stuff like stuff that he should be stopping, he's not stopping. He's making things okay, and that's the that's where the problem he's starts. Making racism okay? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think he's like just. Um, you know, okay with doing anything to win. Yeah. You know, and yeah. That, that's that's the sad part. That's yeah, that's he is the biggest the problem. Of the United you know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that. Oh my God, Biden's gonna be like an amazing president. Like, no, he has a history also that mm. it, it's horrible. But at the end of the day, I'm a Democrat, so I'm gonna stand for that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna be voting for somebody who I don't think is helping us as a whole, as a you know, as the United States of America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're only the thinking for themselves. With, um, you know what I'm saying? With the whole ISIS too, like he made that shit big. Like, I didn't like that. Like you're taking yes, kids he was taking away kids away from, from their, their family. families. Like I just can't even, okay. I can't, I just can't get past so many things that he has done that I just, it just, I, I could never vote for somebody like that. that get what bad. I'm saying? Anyways, we're gonna move on from that topic because we're gonna, we could get really deep into that, and that'll take the whole hour. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I, what I wanted to say was, um, R.I.P. to this young rapper who was like 26. His name was King Von. I saw the footage. I mean, like, I was literally on my way here, like, rewatching the footage and shit. Because that shit was so sad. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I just don't. It's just, mm-hmm. it. like, people always talk about, like, um, racism and stuff like that, too. But you have to address the fact of this black and black's crimes. Apparently, he had some altercation with a whole different, like, gang or group or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, with Quando Rondo or I don't, these little people, I don't they, even know. They, they all from Chicago. <clears throat> They're all from mm-hmm. Chicago, so they do have, like, history, I guess, or something. But apparently it came up that they were fighting over a, a female. Her name is Janya, the one that was dating um, NBA Youngboy. So I don't know what the story may be. There's so many stories out there, but it's just, like, just actually watching the footage is, like, heartbreaking. Like, I can't even imagine. I so literally crazy. can't imagine. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Like, I don't I don't care how crazy your beef is. I just, that's that's insane to me. I don't know. I but know. we're gonna we're gonna move on from that because that was that's gonna make me cry in here and shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Regine getting her boobs done. And Nikki brought up a valid point where she's <laughs> like, "That's so crazy that she would get her boobs done because she was so pro natural, natural body, body mm-hmm. and stuff like that." And then boom, she comes out with these big ass nice. Oh, they're they're, <laughs> they're, not, they're, they're nice. nice. Them shit. Like, she I'm pays like, some money know. for them shit. So <laughs> Listen, you know what I'm saying? That's what it. That's what it all comes back to is like nobody ever is like trying to I, I don't want to say nobody because I don't know what anybody is doing but like a lot of us that do have our bodies and are not trying to put down natural women's bodies like if you're a natural woman you have a great body that's amazing like we love that shit we wish we had that <laughs> you know what I'm saying but it's just like for people who are like oh my god like no I would never get anything done and then it's like boom you pop up that's just as worse as somebody yeah. getting their body done and not 
saying that they got their body done, like lying about that. It's just, I don't know. Anybody has anything like, like I seen a meme that was like, to get your body done for niggas and they still don't fucking watch you. That shit. Yo, that meme was hilarious. <laughs> you gotta be ugly. Like, <laughs> ugly some ugly. crazy <laughs> shit. Like, but nobody's ugly, so let's not say that. <laughs> yeah, no one's ugly, okay? Nobody's ugly. Everyone's beautiful. Now. Everybody is beautiful in my eyes. That's just what it is. But <laughs> do not put down oh, natural girls. <laughs> do not put down women who have had work. And, you know, everybody has had, like, people who have gotten work are for several different reasons, okay? So I don't want these guys out here thinking that women got their bodies done for them. Majority yeah. of the time, women's getting their bodies done for themselves. Obviously, mm -hmm. even if they have whatever insecurity, all women have insecurities, you know, they just fix that insecurity. Feel me? <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, Nikki wanted to talk about um, Yaya Mayweather, <laughs> baby yeah, yeah. shower. I don't of have course, many, yeah. I don't have too much to say about that or whatever. But, but they were basically saying that she was um, going so hard about the Birkins and shit like that, and then she had like a rainbow looking fucking baby shower. shower. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't spend too much money. In her. Oh. I'm like, who cares? Like she was trying to keep it on the low. <laughs> That's shit crazy. Sure. Even with, for instance, even with Summer Walker coming out, well, she didn't come out with it. One of the baby mamas actually, like, yeah, mentioned that. Yeah, I was going to touch on that. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to get into that later. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> but that's basically all the news that I have today. Anybody else that want to add anything? Well, did you hear about the Adrian Broner mm. thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, that he was saying that he was, that he was broke? He, well, he went to a, uh, on Instagram live and was just, like, flexing all these millions of dollars. But he had, like, a court... Uh, case mm -hmm. right now where he told the judge, oh, I only have $13 in my account. <laughs> so she was like, saw it and on got Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like pleading. There was like a video of him pleading to the judge like, it wasn't my <clears throat> money. My friends lend me the money so I can yeah, flex right. it on He's Instagram. He's always flexing. <laughs> always. That's so embarrassing though. Like, he was like flexing his friends But just to piggyback then... on that, there was um, a situation where I guess, here goes Selena. She always popping up somewhere somehow. <laughs> I don't know what this girl's yeah. intention is, but she's always in somebody's DM. But anyway, she had posted, well, actually, I think he put her on blast. He posted a DM from her where she's like, fuck me now. And he's oh like, God. I got a wife. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. But he put her up basically saying like, you need to watch out from these hoes. Because isn't she in a relationship with, um what's that guy? Um, DJ Academic. Because Academic. he bought her, um, what he bought? Oh, oh, that's Selena Hummer? Powell. Hummer? No, no, no. Hummer. Mercedes? A range. She, she is one that you could say that gets it by any means necessary. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> There's just some things you just shouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with, like, Instagram. Like, people are so much trying to, like, prove stuff and clout and stuff like that. Like, that's embarrassing. You Wait, get what, what I'm she saying? Do? Wait. She, when it slid in Adrian Bronner's DM, apparently they oh, were been fucking for months. Oh, while she's with academics right now. Oh, God. But I feel like the whole academic but thing was like... she's not with academics, yo. She yeah, not? She he brought her a Range Rover. She be trolling. No, I heard that yeah. Range Rover was her friends. Yeah, she be trolling. Oh, yeah, and then God. she just posted with it. Like, she always that's posted. Crazy. She posted with, with her friends on is a that drug. Pictures. Oh right, <laughs> like, she's crazy. She's wild. It just sucks because she did have that podcast. Um, I forget his name. Adam Twenty Two, No Jumper podcast. And then he like brought her on with her friend to mm -hmm. talk about like thought stories, and then he shut it all down. Really? Yeah, she has no podcast anymore, and it was oh, it's just, yeah. Damn. I know. So I know he did one with um Black China, and then she like walked. Oh off. my god, was that was so <laughs> funny. Was she was only there for like five minutes. minutes yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> oh, no. just to bring it back, I wanted to touch base on what Boss Black said. She said, um, <clears throat> I love her no matter what, but <laughs> she said they get fake asses and fake breasts, but won't hit the damn gym. That drives me crazy. You know what's crazy to me? <clears throat> Because that's also putting down women in general. Like, it's putting down women um, who do have fake bodies. Like, just because you go to the gym does not mean you're going to get that body that you wish that you are looking for. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of times, like, where you have resorted to the gym to try to get this, like, it's amazing impossible. body. Yeah. But you'll, you'll it, just get going to the gym ain't getting you hips. Going no. to the gym is not giving you that ass that you're probably looking for in particular. <laughs> so people do result back. But that's, that's There's their no choice. There's no way to have this, like, perfect. Because if you go to the gym and, yeah, like, these girls who have asses... They're eating a lot. You have to eat a lot of, so you're gonna get fat. There's no way to it, like not fat, yeah. but like th you know your whole body's gonna gain weight. There's right. no way to have this perfect like skinny waist, fat. Like it's no, impossible. No, so that's why I feel like people result to getting like yeah. their bodies done because like you just is it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I done ran track my whole life. I've been skinny. I haven't been big at all. 
and I had no ass. I had titties. You had an ass. My titties were sorry. I had an ass. It was nice. It was whatever. But it wasn't. <laughs> it, was, it, was it, was, it wasn't how it is now. But all I'm just saying is not like. It's not, I didn't go get it done because I couldn't go no. get it. Because yeah. I couldn't go work out. I've worked out all my life. You get what I'm saying? Squats so, and all. Squats and all. That's not going to give you no, what you're looking for. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like You'll a lot of people to need to take lot, that into account. You have to gain a lot of weight. Oh, she's it's, right. it's so hard. What'd she say? All she right. said, you missed the point. Getting <clears throat> fake body parts and looking sloppy isn't No, good. that's true. Getting fake body parts and looking sloppy isn't, it, it's not cute. It's not yeah. true. Because just because you get your body done does not mean, like, that it's going to last like that forever. No, you actually have sure to keep it up. Not. So that's why a lot of the girls do end up going to the gym <laughs> because they want to keep up yeah. that body that they paid for. That's why people be like, oh, my God, they're going to the gym. But uh, I mean, no, they're going to the gym, but they got their bodies done. It's like, well, you could you still yeah, have to go to the gym. It. You have to maintain your body, period. So nobody's telling you not to go to the gym. You should still work out and, you know, be healthy for yourself. But at the same time, if you're looking for that body, I mean, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's just a jump start. You know what I mean? It gives you a nice, clean slate. I have a nice mm-hmm. body. And then you just have to do some low maintenance on it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Just make sure you get your buddy's worth. Don't just keep going back because it gets dangerous after a while. Oh, some people go back. back. They go back a lot just to achieve that. that I even saw, look. I remember when I was looking at like Cardi B's Instagram live, like right when the pandemic was hit. Right. And she kept saying, oh, I have to go back to get this like sucked. Oh, this fat here. I have to get sucked out. This sucked out. I'm like, oh, that is true. my God. <laughs> it, is, it can be very addicting. That yeah. is, I will say that that is very true because like you're constantly looking at yourself like, damn, I can improve this. I, yeah. can, mm-hmm. I can change this. So you're constantly doing that. So like there are some girls that will have like a tiny bit of fat and they're like, oh, my God, I need to go get this done again. Like I've known girls that gotten like so many surgeries. You understand like what I'm saying? Three like, to four times. <clears throat> yes, three to four times to get that look. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so scary. I don't yeah. know. I'm just scared to go under the knife. You know what I mean? I watched Dr. Miami on shit, Snapchat. Me too. <laughs> just scared the shit out of me, like watching him just slice open this girl's stomach. It just right. fucking traumatized me. No, it me. is scary. No, it like, is. Maybe I would do it like once, but over and over again, I'd be traumatized. But that's the thing. They get used to it. And then I know. the yeah, second time like, around, oh, the third time around, it doesn't yeah. hurt to them anymore. Oh, like it's something that they just you gotta make sure that like you a... go to the right doctor and do your research. You that's true. To. That's very yeah. important. Going to the right doctor, doing you your research. To, yeah. Because it can get very dangerous. So nobody's promoting But I get that, that it's expensive and you know what I mean? And some people go to other countries. That's where I feel like I don't know how desperate you are, but like going to DR or Columbia for it. Well, the reason why a lot of the girls go out of the country is because America, they only can take out a certain amount of percentage of fat. Mm-hmm. Oh, so if you are a naturally bigger girl, yeah. you're not you're not gonna get that body that you're. Yeah, you but isn't want. there a reason why they're not taking out that much fat? Is it because it gets dangerous after? I I believe, I'm not, I'm not, I honestly on don't your know. Weight and your BMI. Oh. Yeah. So they won't go past a certain level because mm-hmm. then it, it gets dangerous. Like some girls, like if you're over like that weight, you have to lose weight first and then mm-hmm. you do it. Yeah, and for the girls mm-hmm. that are skinny, they do have to gain, gain weight. weight. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't there's know that. A, there's certain BMIs that you have to achieve for your height. Wow. Yeah, so you, yeah, you, I you have to gain that. weight if you're yeah. super skinny or you have to lose weight to be under it's a certain BMI. Work, like, and have no idea. you have to lose weight to be under the certain BMI because you um you don't want to pay more because you you would Wait, what do you have, mean? You could pay more per fat? What do you mean? Basically, oh they, because that's more work that they're doing so they will charge oh you more. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. A lot of girls do that. Oh. But you have to be careful with that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's she said, crazy. Buzz Black said, you will need to touch up in 10 years. That I understand. Freak, fake breasts needs to be redone in 10 to 15 Yo, years. I saw the most Oh, really? I didn't, I, that I didn't know. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what do you mean? What is like, this? I seen this girl's titties, and her titties was like, Dropped and her implant was like still here. Oh, like, yeah, it was crazy. Like, was sweetie, like, if you just get your shit done, stay home. Yeah, like, no. let it drop first. Was like, that it? She got just got it done, or like no, she I let think it sit like, for a while. The person did like oh. a botch or something, oh. or she had a kid. I don't know. That should look wild. That's definitely some out of the country looking. Out shit. of the country, <laughs> yeah. I knew that look like they'll so. do anything. They don't out of mm-hmm. the country. They will do anything. We had this girl that we were not cool with that went out of the country, and she fucking um was anemic. 
neck, right? And they gave her um, what? What did they put in her? They gave her more blood or something in oh, order yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to yeah. perform that. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Yep, yep. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus, no! That's yeah, it's because they don't serious. care out there because they're just like we want our money, basically. But don't they? So if you go out of the research. country and then like the doctor, basically you die from getting like this is like worst case scenario. You die from getting out of the. What happens? Does that hmm. person get locked up? In the no, another country. No, because remember that doctor that was doing all them surgeries in New oh, York. Mexi- I thought it was Mexico. No, well, I know there was a, a huge, no. He, oh. It was one in New York. And yeah. He was doing mad girls were dying, <clears throat> and then he flew to like I guess like Dominican Republic, yeah. and then another girl. I think she was like Instagram or something, and then she went to DR, and then she died. So yeah. what happened to him? Did he not <laughs> I don't know. They just so if you go to another country, they don't like. They don't like. Oh they they can just take take their license and go somewhere else. Oh Basically, my god! Yeah, or just do it like under the freaking table. <gasps> right, but it's also it's about taking care of your body after the fact. Also, oh, like people yes. don't take those uh, those measures where they have to like take care of themselves after because so, that can cause something. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the doctor's work. Yeah. It has to be like you taking care of yourself. Oh, after. so sometimes it's not on him. It's like oh well, yeah, I told you right, what to and do. then they'll try to pin it on that person. Mm. But it's like there's certain things like for instance. There's this doctor in Miami um, that performed surgery on this girl, and she ended up dying because she didn't stay in the recovery home for five days. She left after the second day. So, yeah. So oh things do happen. Where you have to- they tell you to stay there for five, five days or a week. Fuck. That's crazy. Like, to put, like, oh, two days, and you just feel fine, and then Mm-mm. you, you do. <laughs> not after, after two days. Oh, you God. do not feel fine. I feel like you get jumped by, like, ten, ten people. That's oh. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, and you're just bleeding a lot. You have this tight ass fucking. So how could she just leave? How could she move to leave? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. (laughs) But um, yeah. But anybody else say anything in the chat? I'm trying to keep up, but I can't. Why do I keep blowing it? The smoke in my face. I'm sorry. (laughs) I will blow it to the side. I like it. It does breathe it in. Yeah. No. It's just. (laughs) I just. Yeah. You're right. (laughs) And I'm face forward too, so that's probably why. (laughs) No, you're fine. It's so funny. Ah. Or shot in the hookah. I really do. Like every time I leave this show every Friday, like I'm like, oh, I want to go to hookah bar. I want to go to hookah bar. Because the smell I want, <laughs> like so I want to smoke it all of a hookah sudden. Like- wow, I see a lot of debating going on about Trump and Biden. This is why oh, we no. cannot get into politics because oh, y'all no. go crazy. I know. It's super- People have to respect other people's opinions. That's what it comes down to. But ain't nothing like seeing a black man vote for Trump. I just have to say that. <laughs> Like, mm. I just don't, I will, I don't think I will ever understand it. I don't understand the reasoning behind it, but I will respect yeah. your opinion. Your That's opinion. the difference I feel like between, I mean, as sad as it is, like, between Trump supporters, most Trumps, I won't say all, but most Trump supporters and, like, people who support Biden. It's like, we don't, yeah, we argue, but mm. we'll never, like, I don't feel like we really put people down the way that Trump people put like mm-hmm. you know oh what I mean? yeah they yeah. they're the ones that get angry before like i've Biden. never like, seen somebody go so hard for a yo, president like that like, i know they get <laughs> that super was crazy angry. yeah i mean i get like liberals I, also have like the, crazy I, they say i've never things, even seen a, a, they'll an eventually election accept it. be over yeah. time <laughs> Like, when Biden wins, because he is going to win, I feel like everyone's just going to, it's just going to go back to normal, you know, with a nice oh, old no. They think that, would, no, but people were saying, like, oh, make sure you stay in your house and blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, I was hearing a lot of, but I'm like, no, you're right. I think no, it's going to go back to normal. It's going to go back to normal. Is, <laughs> the meme? No, I see I it. All right, anybody else that has anything else to say before we go into break? Because we have to get into our segments. So I'm happy that oh, you guys yeah. are going crazy over our little topics. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, and the <laughs> oh, part okay. is that we're going to have to go. I don't know how long we have to go through this because we yeah. still have no. I'm we, like I'm tired watching the news. I don't even. Oh, care I fell asleep. I thought like by the first night, if I fall asleep, Trump yeah, was gonna too. be president. So I tried and to I stay up, up and shit. Yeah. But I woke same. up and it's still going on, and I'm just the like, same bro. Number of votes to like two fifty three, two thirteen. I'm like, really? It's been like this for three to four three, days. Like it, I wanna. They. I think we're gonna find out today. So really today. I'm hoping that's what it was. They said. I don't know. It's taking. Oh. Why is it taking so long? I don't know. Maybe because votes, it's different honestly. with the melon. Votes but and did, stuff didn't like they that. Start count, couldn't they have started counting? They should have counted it before. That's what I'm saying. Because we, we sent it in a while ago. So I don't oh, know. I don't get why they waited. I don't know. I don't know. It's all so annoying. I just want it to be over already. So, so some states were allowed to do that. In oh, and others weren't? And like Pennsylvania and Arizona, they had to wait till their regular votes are in, then count them. That's so stupid, though. Yeah, it's stupid. But yeah. I don't know why. Different states. 
Yeah, yeah. The, the difference there. I think Georgia just like put their votes in now. Like they, yeah, they just cast it. Everybody yeah. was taking like a really long time to cast their votes in. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen anything <laughs> like this, but yeah. I'm telling you. And Trump's now going to blame it on, oh, well, there's like he's. Conspiracy he theory. thinks he that he thinks the that White House. honestly yeah, like <laughs> and apparently yeah. he said that if he um <laughs> if he loses this election he's gonna run again in 2024 yeah i know <laughs> just, take just take the l let it go he's not going to no and he's and he's like he, it's like i that's why i was telling my friends i was like they should treat him like they do radio hosts yeah when radio hosts like when they tell they're fired mm-hmm. they make them leave that day trump uh, has to still sit there for two more months like you know mm-hmm. what? i'm afraid well, we're not gonna get another stimulus check he's gonna like make this a living hell he's like you guys don't want to vote because imagine like still staying at a job where they right. just fired you right you know what i mean and you still like have to go to this job you're gonna hate everybody you're gonna make it painful and you're gonna really set it up so that like see i told you you should have voted for me right he's right. so evil he's he is so he's very evil, evil but i mean He's going to be just, so spiteful. Uh, oh, I don't know. God, it's going to get crazy. Two months. Is it? It's going to be a bad two months. <laughs> it's all I have to say. Anybody saying anything else? And they got a lot, they got a lot of comments in here. Um, somebody, somebody asked, um, Yaya, is that velvet? <laughs> yes, it is velvet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the velvet memo joke. today, obviously. <laughs> um, anybody saying good send me here? They said, uh, Trump wants a recount. I saw Trump shit, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, we're going to cut off and go to break. We will be back with our segment, so definitely stay tuned. All right? Yeah. <laughs> David Ray did not. Dom, yes, he stand the fuck up. Go! Shout out to Barbara's body bag. Rest in peace, sweet. You already know. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. This your girl, Miss Lisa Namana, I'm Bull City Caroline. We okay. You got Jay, you can't fall on Fuck it, brass knuckles on me. She gon' see the fish, y'all need to catch this scheme, though. 
said, dog, real big arms, wet. Y'all know this flow is super ludicrous. Listen, he is <laughs> Okay. Now let's go address some shit. Cause bitch love girl got a fat and I work at a telly. Yeah, damn height, so what? I hustle for mines, but you say you a singer? Mmm, bitch, we gon' buy it. Fuck your music. You don't like what I said? Do something. I come in your block and start a riot. You'll see one in the air and one at your real life. We're trying to get the kids quiet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wake up. Oh yeah. You can't get a boat in one round about all the niggas I spoke to or room with a slept with. Cool, do that. But just know if I jack black, the kid gon' get the drum. See, don't matter who I bang with, jack black, kid drum, it don't matter who I bang with. Yeah. I just sources to say you got info on who I knew in the A. Well, hey, that's my business. Cause I'ma do what the fuck I wanna do anyway. Shit, you need me more worried about me snagging, nigga, him eating my pussy. Bitch, that's the only time you to throw away. You whack, bitch. This is this my pussy, not yours. Pussy snap back crazy. Y'all got I said snap back crazy. Hey, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> this is Yakira Gorgeous. I'm Josh Jen. Yeah, yeah, bombshell. And I think I forgot to do this in the beginning, but for anybody who's new here, I heard that good send a couple people here. But um, basically, we're just a podcast that talks about everything, like our everyday lives, uh, from like things that are happening on the blogs. Like we just get into everything. Like we're just like. I don't know. We're fucking lit. Sorry, no, <laughs> no, but I'm saying like we just we just talk about everything. We just like to get into like all kinds of topics. We always ask you guys what kind of topics you want to talk about. So basically, that's it. So do not judge us for anything that we talk about. Okay. okay. So we're very educated. We're very smart young females. So yes. Thank you guys for being here. But Nikki, well, Yaya Bombshell that you guys know her as, <laughs> we'll get into her segment. So, we're going to talk about Summer Walker and London on the track. But we're going to get into the question of the day. Would you date someone with more than one kid? With mm. more yeah. than one kid? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would think about it. Depends on how much I like them. Right. If a lot, yeah, I would take it. I'd complain about it, but I would do it. <laughs> more than one? I'm trying to think if I've ever dated anybody with more than one kid. I, did I don't a guy think so. I had six kids. Oh Jesus. my god! <laughs> but he didn't live with them. Like mom had full custody. No, no, no. Well, I, I don't even fucking know. Cause I find out <laughs> at the end of the fucking day <laughs> that know. he was still seeing this fucking bitch. So oh, I don't fucking know. So shit. yeah. But yeah, I did a guy with six kids. Yeah, I don't know if I can do it. Like one kid is already like really hard. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I mean, if it's two kids, then okay. But it's like three, four, five, six. I'm like hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And if they're by different it's mothers, just, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, because I don't I got time for that baby mama drama shit. What I if it was future? <laughs> no, that was my next question. No, oh. no, no. Hell you no. Hell no. You got too much going. It's baby mamas like be like fighting with each other. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he, he you trying to get that AC. Yeah. Listen. How can you afford all those kids and all those baby mamas and like still, I don't. He but he really... like fucks around with his baby mamas. Like he's not, it'd be oh. different if he like wasn't dealing with all of his baby mamas, but he is. He's dealing with all 12 all or 10 or how, all of them. God. And they all want him too. So it's not like. You know what I'm saying? It's not Who like is he, is they, they both. Is right? he Scorpio? I think he's. Scorpio. I think his birthday I hope just passed. Scorpio. I feel like he's Scorpio. I'm gonna look this up because that would make a lot more sense for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But no. Yeah. No. Oh, Scorpio No, because then you get all like emotional and like it's just too much. Like, why That's would you fine. even want to take? Like, why would you want to go there with the guy? Like, really like, high. I need to date like Lori Harvey, who Meek Mill couldn't even get. Like, you know, he took ba Bow Wow's baby mom. Like, he dates 10. He, yeah, he dates some good-looking girls. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't get. He must have some really smooth game. I'd like to nah, just find out what it's like. Good ass. <laughs> that too. That too? Yeah. <laughs> but I heard, like, down south, like, that's their thing. Like, they like to have multiple children. Mm. Oh. That's what I heard. Like, okay. Yeah, okay. Like they live like African <laughs> kings. <laughs> huh? November 20th, what's that? I don't know. November 20th. Oh, that's his birthday? That's a Sagitt Sagittarius. Is it? I thought it was Scorpio. November 20th. So. It's on the cusp. That's a Sagittarius, I think. November. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really? I like, I like Sagittarius. They're cool. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Oh, it's Scorpio. Game. No, it's Scorpio. Huh? 
Like it's was, November 20th. Oh, it falls. Oh, God, this it, is it so complicated. It says you fall under the Scorpio sign. Mm. Um, and then the 21st is Sagittarius. So it uh, could be both. on the cusp because, like, some of Star. You that know, makes 20th. sense, though. Yeah. Makes sense I, I was like, he has a Scorpio vibe to him, like, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. eyes and stuff. His eyes, Jen. Yeah. Scorpio nah, always eyes, have these eyes, eyes that are like trying to have sex with you all the time. Well, I, I never <laughs> feel like I see his eyes. He's always wearing glasses and that fucking little exactly. cowboy Exactly. He's hiding the them. But once hat. he unleashes them, you're pregnant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Literally. Look at all his girls. He needs to wrap it up, man. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Okay, so let's talk about Summer Walker. Before we get into the whole drama with her being pregnant and the baby mamas, Summer Walker make a comment on saying that women shouldn't rely on men for support. Like, you should get your own. Um, and the baby mamas were salty at that. How many That's baby true. mamas does he have? Huh? Wait, how many? He has three baby mamas. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's true to an extent. Like, I feel like you should ha also have your own money, definitely, because you've got to take care of your child. So if you're, the father's not supporting, then you should have, like, your backup plan to still want to take care of your child. You understand when what you I'm saying? When you know the father's making millions, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put on the track. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but what does that mean, though? Like, even if they're making millions and stuff like that or whatever, like, are you going to beg him to take care of the child if he just doesn't want to be in his child's life? Like, like what do you do? You're just you're probably going to make them feel bad about it. Because it's I like... Feel like at the end of the day, you already knew who, who you were dealing with. So, like, it takes two. Yeah. It does take two. Yeah. But, I mean, if he's not supporting, then you just need to get your own. Honestly. There's no need to be begging him. Like, put him on child support. You right. You need to yeah, bash him on, him on fucking internet. Right. Like, yeah. But it is a little bit upsetting when it's like, damn, like, you know, like, this is, I have your child here and you're not supporting and you're on social media living life. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> then then it's like, I yo, feel... what the fuck? Like, come yeah. on. And dude. they probably yeah. have feelings for him. It's a, these are like bitter women right. who are now, like, they can't go out and find a new guy because, like, the stigma is like women who have children, you can't, like, live the life that men who have children they can go and date whoever right girls now you have a kid right now, like guys are you, you know what i mean that your pool of men has gotten a little smaller as sad as it is yeah honestly because no so man many guys wants to, out there not no man but like some men don't you know what i mean it's almost like they don't want to be with a woman who has a, another man's child it just you know what i'm saying that is so true it's such a double standard how like yeah. a guy can't mm -hmm. really be with a like a female that has like multiple kids but how we have to like settle I know, with the rest of the sucks, men who have but kids. Yeah. Oh, word. And that's probably why they feel a little bit better because they see like, oh, you've moved on and you're making millions and like girls still want to be with you. Now I have to struggle and like dating is now hard. Now I have to struggle. Yeah. I just feel for them a little bit. Yeah. No, I get it. No, I get it. I get it, it but then it's, it's like, I don't you I'm should not always a fan feel of Summer Walker saying that though because I feel like that's super like Because she know. has money is you feel like that's super like kind of I don't like, know. I feel like she's just a little that's just bitchy to say that about somebody. Well, they were being bitchy already to announce her pregnancy. Oh, that too. That's true. And that was crazy. So that's why I feel like that's why she said oh, that. Oh, so she's retaliating. Mm -hmm. Okay, Definitely. I didn't know that part mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah. oh, you said something to me a little bit. Okay, I get it. Well, I feel like she said that comment before she announced that she was, well, before the baby mama said that she was pregnant. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. right. So they were like salty at that. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like that's something personal. Like, like be mad at the baby father. Don't be mad at the girlfriend. Yeah. And I feel like that's what they're doing. Yeah, that's true. And She's I'm already like dealing that. with so much too. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. summer move on. She's taking off. <laughs> you got it. Well. Summer move <laughs> on, but <laughs> she's still yeah. with him though. I know. No, she's not leaving him. She's not leaving him. She's not leaving him. She does witchcraft and stuff. Like <laughs> Which, she'll put a spell on him. <laughs> What's going on happens. with these guys that have multiple kids? Like what? What type of? <laughs> what do they got? Like there's some spell going on with these females? Like that's crazy to me. That's the it's crazy. That's, that's that's the spell. That's what it is. That's the spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else to eat? No, we pretty much touched on that. Anybody in the comments? Anybody in the comments? <laughs> going once, coming, going a twice. Of, a lot of, Jen got a lot of fans today. Like, oh, Jen. Jen. Oh, oh, she, she said, it's a child, not paycheck. <laughs> have your own and don't have kids unless he's married to you. I agree. I, I, I agree on that. It's Definitely. easier said than done, though. Definitely easier said know. than done because it's like, you know, like, okay, well, if you are dealing with somebody and that you do take serious, you might as well look into a future with, yeah. with that person because you're having unprotected sex. So... At the end of the day, you want to, I don't know, you should. Talk about that? Yeah, you Before should be why. Exactly. You should be knowing yeah. who you're dating, period. 
Like, if you think that he's going to be, like, if you were to have a kid right now, like, if and he was to run, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to know who you're dating. That's but now if you're just living young, wild, and free, which is mostly... Don't live young, wild, like, and free, and I'm protected. <laughs> <laughs> but we all live young, wild, and free, and if, like, something happened, and then you talk to the guy about it, and he's just like, don't worry, you'll always be good, you'll always be taken care of, and then... You have the baby and you're not taking care of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're out there. Stuff as a single, and single he's parent. Phone, that's what I'm saying. No, like, but that's true, we though. You know what's being said on his, like, these women are being told. Right. Because I doubt they're being douches to them <laughs> from the beginning, because they probably would be like, there'll be red flags where it's like, oh, I'm not having this kid. He's right. already told me he's going to ditch me and move on. And be, yeah, I feel like there's maybe like, some miscommunication. Definitely. No, that's true. He's trying I agree. to be not, you know, you know how guys are. But definitely, <laughs> if you are not looking to get pregnant anytime soon, just have protected sex yeah. or make sure you're in birth control yeah, or unless you're looking for a future that's with true. somebody. That's, that's just so it. true. You got to be you got to be safe. You got to be sure safe. of who you're dating. Sure. And that's it. Are like, going to break sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> So anybody else has anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, yes, Boss Black, you're absolutely right. Have standards. Don't sell yourself short. Um, being a baby mama is an honor. It's something to aspire to. Choose wisely and marry. That is so true. Yeah, that's so you true. have to choose. Yeah, because I feel like with baby mamas, like they have like this horrible connotation when it comes to them. You get what I'm saying? Like, but these baby mamas out here killing it, doing their thing, yeah. raising their children, mm -hmm. single or not, they're they're killing it. You know what I'm saying? It does always help if you have like that extra help from mm -hmm. your partner and stuff like that. But if you don't have that extra help, you need to make sure your kid is good by any means necessary. Yeah. So you will have to do what you have to do. Because because at the end of the day, you made this choice. You made that choice. He made that choice. He, if he decides not to be there, then that's yeah. that's on him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's going to affect your child. But you got to make sure that your child is good. You got to make sure that whatever your child needs, they get so that they don't <laughs> be looking or missing that other person, I guess you oh should God. say. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a mom, so I, I, I don't know. I just but, feel like that whole child talk, that shit scares me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> like talking about yeah, like, talking about having, yeah. having a child. Like, I mean, I always I want a son, but yeah, I, I want a couple twins, of years from but now. Not now. Yeah, like, a couple of years from now. Not now. <laughs> My sons are going to be called Oliver, Oliver. And, uh, and Olivia. Oliver, <laughs> Wait, Oliver, oh, Oliver and Olivia. <laughs> I hate that name so much. Why? <laughs> You're gonna be the godmommy. I'm gonna be the godmommy of <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> it's so hot in here. It's hot. So yeah, it's oh, it's hot here. Oh, you, yo, yeah. Jen is oh, crazy. Anybody else saying anything from the chat? Heavy bags. They said, "Would y'all date someone with a physical disability, blind, wheelchair, etc.?" Would you date somebody with the huh? Physical disability, like in a wheelchair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the questions they ask. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. That, that, like it's different. Like it does. Do they mean like if they were so? Say if you were dating somebody and something happens and then they're in a wheelchair. Oh, that might well, be different. I would yeah. probably do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would do, I that. do that. But if like going into it, <laughs> wait, going into it though. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm too lazy. I don't want to will nobody to fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. I'm so late. Like, I don't, I, like, I just want to be able to walk, like, <laughs> by myself. Like, I don't, unless they can will themselves. I just, I don't know. I think, no, I there know. are situations where they can will themselves. I feel like it depends on, like, the personality of the person. Like, you know, we just hit it off, then yeah. Yeah. I mean, I but, wish I could think that way, but my mind would just be thinking, how is this going to work? Like, do we, yeah. you know, because you have to, like, do a whole setup if you're dating someone with a wheelchair with your house. Yeah, like, how are you going to have sex? You have to get, you have like, to pick a ramp. Up, throw them yeah. on the bed. <laughs> are they supposed to do that to you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, what do you do? Like, do you have to pick them? Do you have to bathe them? Like, what do you have to do? Like, so, there's so is. many it's disabilities. Full, it really what if somebody full. was blind or um, deaf? I could do blind. Yeah, I could do blind. And I could do blind. Not I, I don't know if I can do blind. blind. I can probably both do both. Both know sign language, so we could be. Doing Bitch, that. you don't know sign. Yes, I do. Why she? I do so know do sign language. All right, do it. But you do can't it. get to my name. You're gonna have to know a lot more than that, though. I know. I can okay. Know. Oh, you're like they—they're they, they're gonna know your name. You can just write it down for them. Yeah. Oh wait, no, oh, wait if they're blind. blind. So if they were if they were blind and deaf, you can't do blind both. You can't do both. You can't do both. Blind and deaf, like the same time. Yeah, you. Yeah, the that's same, oh, possible. That's why I thought you meant the same time. Yeah, that's, that's what possible. I was thinking. I was like, yeah, at the same time. It is possible. Yeah, you, can yeah, you could do it. 
Yeah. Really? Okay. How would you That's communicate a... with them? Her, her, her smiling. No, but they're blind. Oh, yeah. oh wait, they're blind. So what's she gonna do? Braille. The Braille. Huh? Braille is like the. the for them. You're gonna have to grab their hand and oh, be like, "This yeah. is my." <laughs> Yo. Oh, Next topic, please. <laughs> Jesus. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm dying. But like, what would you? I just. Somebody I probably said know. Oliver is a name you see an old. Seventy-year-old white man. <laughs> I don't like that name either. It's it's like, Oliver that... is a cute name. Or yeah. you can call him Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. 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 You know, somebody Aww. said Yaya's throwing up gang signs. Oh, <laughs> hey, fuck you. <laughs> That's the that only sign she know. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are about to break it off, okay? We're going to come back with... We have some segments left for you guys, so don't go anywhere, okay? <laughs> you was my fame. You used to be cold, shorty. But now I'm giving a shot. I want you to pose for me. But don't fuck my footage up. I can't afford you to choke on me. Just dust that bitch off and give me the old for it. Come on, I done, oh, oh, I done showed up in the cleanest fits, spit the meanest flips while stock was dropping. What kind of face of the league is this? Debo, I got the scoop. You should have deserted her. How dare he queen this bitch? Beans and shit. Shot after shot. Y'all gonna think she tipsy. I never froze, bitch. This ain't the 60s. I packed the 380. I heard this was a crazy city. Nobody wanna watch my badass kid? I brought the baby with me. Y'all crazy? Y'all crazy, really? Y'all said she was dumb fire. I've been waiting for her to slide across my plate like the umpire. We could. We could have did this in New York, but I ain't want bias. So I bought 40 on the road, I'm a drunk driver. I brung llamas. She could get lumped up. Her nigga, gun butt. We off the chain with sticks like nunchucks. Like he can't hold this liquor. One shot had him fucked up. And this, blue, 42, hot, hot. Y'all remember? That bitch don't do that. Where is her swap swap sue at? <laughs> Fuck that razor bar, bitch. I raise a bar. I literally raise a bar. Screw right. the bitch out the way. That's a razor bar. <laughs> Who would have knew 
Scooby-Doo, I could tell you wasn't a monster the moment you took the face off. Where the, where the pants? Where the pants? This a cakewalk. This bird bitch is annoying. Hey, yo. Where the pants? This a cakewalk. This bird bitch is annoying. Big gauge. Work with the twelve, like turning it for me. Drop your location. We certainly on it. Drive by, hanging out. Like I ain't got work in the morning. What's worse is you boring. What's worse is you boring. You was stuck in your ways. I helped you in your route. Bitch, it was a shame the way you was losing your clout. And all you could do is throw your numbers in my face. Fuck what your views is about. Bow. You feel Hi guys, this is Yakira Gorgeous. I'm just Jen. Yeah, yeah, bombshell. And like I say, after every segment, this is just a podcast that we get into every single thing, you know, personal lives from the bo- blogs. From the blogs. Blog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm mad goofy. But yes, okay, so we're about to get into this segment. It's just a, a question for my ladies. You guys can obviously comment on it in the chat. And we'll answer. If you have anything yeah. to say, but this is more so for the ladies, okay? So... Ladies, would you ever quit your job if your man said he would take care of you financially? No. 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 I need security on my... And, like, what am I going to do all day? I what mean, is going to be... <laughs> if my man told me to quit my job, okay, but he would have to give me money to, like, start a business. So I'm okay. Here, so I could work, okay. work from home. So, so you're still working, So you would. Yeah, yeah, but you're still working, though. No, uh, I mean, like... He's for, saying not to work not at all? Not to work at all. Mm-mm. Like, you would be bored. Like, Very I mean, bored. I would be bored. Like, I need I to have, I like household. money, so I need to have, make sure I have and just, my money. Yeah. Like, and then that's you period. Would, like, I don't know, I compare it to, like, the show I watched, Mad Men, where, you know, it was it's, like, based out of, like, 50s housewives. And the reason they were so unhappy was because they were idle all day and, like, okay. had no passion. And they just would come, like, the guy would come home and they'd be all, like, freaking out and jealous because they have nothing else to do. Yeah. When you have nothing to do, your mind goes wild. Right. You get bored. <laughs> you start making up situations that's happening. Like, that's true. You just go, go crazy. So, but what if it, like... So this is basically like, would you be happy depending on someone financially if you had to? No, no. You what wouldn't scenario be happy? would I need? Like, I mean, maybe if you have children, you know what I mean. And you're like, oh, this feels like a full time job with this child all over the place. You know what I mean with little Oliver. <laughs> Oliver, Oliver, <laughs> Oliver's driving me crazy. I might have to. No, but honestly, that's true. Like, I I used to always say to myself, like, I'm super like independent and stuff like this right but think about it like when you do get in a relationship right you're supposed to de- kind of like depend on that person because you know you guys are joining ties everything is joining mm-hmm. correct mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying you're trusting them with your finances you're sh- they're trusting you with theirs but if your life depended on it and they're like no like i don't want you working at all i need you home that's it mm-hmm. to take care of the house Oh, how big is the house? I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, like, where, where is this house at? Is it a mansion? Then okay. I mean, like, it doesn't matter which house, what kind of house. It matters. Not so shallow. Bigger the house, a lot more work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got different rooms. I could make, well, then I that would have to be an allowance at that point. Like, the bigger the house, it would have to be an allowance if I'm cleaning that whole shit. <laughs> Thank you. So All right, so... I also wanted to add, okay, so I feel like every time I ask this question, a, a lot of people misunderstand what I'm trying to say, okay? So, basically, mm-hmm. I said, why, when men decide this, basically, like, uh, decide for women to stay home for them to take care of fi- them financially, it's acceptable to society. But, like, say if a woman was to be the one, like, say, like, from the outside looking in, how, like, people would view the woman. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and, and then it's like, oh, she's a gold digger. Oh, mm. like if a guy tells you you have to stay home, right? And now everybody's gonna be like, "What are you doing?" You're like, "I just stay, stay home, home because he doesn't My want man me to take care of me." It's like, "Oh, she's a gold digger," and it's like, "Why is she a gold digger?" When they both came to that common agreement, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say gold digger. I would just think housewife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. housewife. Yeah, I wouldn't say gold digger only because like, yeah, she didn't say that wasn't her thing to say. Like, if she said, "I'm not working," mm-hmm. and he was super rich. And she sought after this rich guy to have right. the end goal of staying home. Then I would say gold digger. But if like he, it was his idea, like she was working, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden she he says that, then I would be like, oh, but like then I feel a little scared. And he'll be like, I'm just gonna take care of you. I don't know. It'll always be in the back like of that's my when mind. you start thinking like, like controlling yeah. things happen. Like there's so many things that happen. Like you should just never depend on a man. Period. When it comes to finances in general, like whether you're married or not, I feel like you should always have your own. 
Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta protect yourself before mm-hmm. anything. Like, yes, you see end. these people, these married couples be getting a prenups and stuff like that, which a lot of people would be devastated. Like, would you guys be devastated if you were to ever, if your man was to ask you to get a prenup? No. No? I don't think I would get mad. Mm-mm. I know a lot of people are really like, offended it, by People it. would get offended yeah. because it's like, where's the trust? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, we're married. Our, our finances are supposed to be joint, whether you're making more than me, whether. But you know what's so crazy? Because what if the woman is the one who's making more money than the guy? And she asks for a prenup. It would be like a whole fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like this is where double, double standards I mean, I think it's come still, into it play. It happens now because it's like these days women are sometimes making more than the man. Mm-hmm. But it's happening most of these days. <laughs> women are coming up. Let me tell you, like these women, they're they're getting to the bag. Period. You had something to say. You don't put the mic in front oh, of your no, face. No, no, <laughs> just whenever y'all ready, uh, Xavier Robinson. Mm-hmm. Jay said. Ladies, how come women are never interested in what men like to do? It seems like a lot of women want to get to know a man just enough to see how he can fit into her life. That's a good question. That's a good-ass question. Okay, Xavier. That is a good question. I wouldn't say that all females are not interested in doing what men do. I wouldn't even say most women, you know what I'm saying? Because there has to be a reason why you're dating somebody. There has to be a reason why you're married to this person. You obviously have some kind of like, I don't know, like some similarities that you, you know, you yeah. kind of want to do. So if if my man is proposing to me that he wants to do something like take me on this like nice date that he wants to do, like I would totally be down. I'm like, you, you got you to gotta be open to these things, mm-hmm. especially yeah. if you want him to do what you want him to do, because he's always going to make sure you're good. You understand what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of guys now these days are always, like, they're so focused on trying to make the woman happy when it comes to these dates and stuff like that. And then they'll get angry at the time. It's like, and then won't say a word about it. (laughs) Like, we never do what I want to do. Let's go play pool. And it's like, I don't want to play pool. But it's like, (laughs) I'll play pool because that's what you want. You know, you got to go back and forth when it comes to that stuff, I think. Yeah, you have to. I feel like it just depends on the person that you're You're dating. dating also. Mm -hmm. Because what if you guys like both the the same things? Like, what if you like partying and they like partying? This is great. Let's go party together. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I think it just depends on, like, the person that you're dating. If you guys are, like, completely opposites where you like to do something and she likes to do something and you feel away because you're always doing what she wants to do then maybe you're not dating the right, the right person, person. That's right. Yeah. That's <laughs> maybe you need to go find to. somebody who has a lot more least, similarities yeah. than you or if she if you guys are so different there's like she, she has to do you have to have compromise there has to be so sort of like has to give ooh, and take that's the key word has huh. to be some kind of compromise especially if you guys are different mm-hmm. somebody has to not want to do something for a day and that's mm-hmm. just what it is but don't complain about it so yeah. it's funny you say that because uh, Roy Ross said, why is compromising so difficult? And then Boss Black said, compromising is easy. Most people don't know how to negotiate. Yeah. Period. Everybody's out to look for and themselves. It's pride. Oh, pride. It's, pride. it's, a, it's really definitely a pride thing nowadays. Yeah. That's for sure. That I agree with that. I feel like it compromise can definitely be so easy, especially if you are like really interested in that person. And they ask you to give up something or they ask you to do something like that. And in exchange, you, you ask for the same or whatever the case may be. Yeah. I feel like it should be like a simple trans like transaction. <laughs> but just it should be very simple. It should not be like difficult. It shouldn't be difficult. Only you start thinking when it's difficult, when you start thinking into it where you feel like your person that you're dating is not willing to compromise for you. Then like I said, you're not dating the right person. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's all it comes down to is dating yeah. the right person, but also yeah. being able to like walk away when it's like, yeah, this is not this, what I wanted. Because uh-huh. yeah. it will never last if you go and date somebody who just like doesn't want... Like you're going to constantly just be frustrated all the time because they don't want to do... What you want to do. Eventually, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Gonna you got to gonna be happy for yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. And if that person is not making you happy, then it's, it's time to just go. Mm-hmm. Oh, my phone is on 1%. Let me hurry up and get into it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, this was another question that I had is like, what, um, when you get into a relationship, like, what do you expect out of it? Growth. Growth. Okay. You smart. <laughs> she knows what, what she do wants. You, what do you, what do you expect? What do I expect out of it? Um, consistency. Yes, yes. Communication. Big thing. Communi- yeah. Communication is a big thing. 
Yes. Yeah. But mostly consistency because in the beginning of a relationship, they're doing like, it's like perfect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Those honeymoon. Oof. And then all of a sudden, like. Two, you're at three months in and then. Three it's months like, in. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, you don't want to do this. Oh, it's just like a change. It's like you're not dating the person that you right. met. Mm-hmm. So like, I Like, don't see, date yeah. me at first to try and please me. Like, you should never do that because if you can't but keep you, up you're that gonna pleasing. you're going to be the whole way through. Over. Yeah. And also, like, I mean, not just men, too. It's like girls do the same thing where we like to, I, you know, women change also. But I feel like just be yourself from the beginning. Because I used to make that mistake of, like, impressing a guy and not being who I was. Like, asking my friend, like, what do I say? What do I say? <laughs> and then they're basically talking to my friend and not me. And then Basically. It's like, <laughs> oh, we've all done that. What? <laughs> like, hey, do, like, what do I say back? <laughs> but it's not you. It's not like how you're naturally going to talk to them and then, like, three, four months, you know, they're used to this, like, flirty girl, and right. you weren't that person the whole entire time. Right. So it's like, oh, should I tell you you've been talking to Kira this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should mention that now. <laughs> when should I bring that up? When's that a good time <laughs> to let you know? Because I really don't act like this. <laughs> yeah. Overanalyzing conversation. Like, what should I say now? When and then, like, I- you end up having a whole conversation that you never even wrote. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you guys this question. So if your man or whatever asked you to let's go get married in Vegas right now would you why does he need a green card no but I'm just Uh, saying like if you guys are in love like super in love like would you go and he's like let's go to Vegas and get married like fuck it Mm, how long have you been dating (laughs) Uh, for a while like about uh, two years or three years Maybe. Okay. Maybe. That's a I'm while. Done. That's a long time. Like I thought. Would maybe, you like, but would you settle for that? Would you settle for a Vegas marriage or would like yeah. I know? You would? I would do that. Okay. I'll go to Vegas. And the, okay, and but you wouldn't want like a big wedding. Yeah, I would do a big wedding but- after. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I have, I have my dream wedding. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> in Hawaii or some shit. Yeah. See, compromise. 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 You want to get married in Vegas today? Compromise. Um, We're gonna have this big ass wedding. So start yeah, saving. I gotta invite my friends. <laughs> Fucking facts. That. <laughs> That's true. Family has to be there. All right. So this is another like thrown off the wall question. So if you guys, you guys are talking to people or dating people right now, right? Mm-hmm. So if they were to ask you, hold the fuck up, to marry them, would you guys marry the guys that you guys are dealing with right now? <laughs> what are the circumstances? <laughs> Shit. Probably it's always not. something with you. <laughs> what, would you? No. Wow. No. You better hope he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we talk about this. No. No. What? No. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. But I, and not just him. Like in general, anybody. Right. I'm not ready right now. Me. It's about me. I am not ready. When I'm ready, then we'll. You know what I mean. I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> would you? Would, would you? <laughs> yeah, I would do it. Not right now. You yeah, saying that because he wants it? Yeah. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Positive. Wow. What about you, Kira? You're the one in like more of a stable. Yeah. That's yeah. Kind of he you gets something. Mm. But yeah. You but yeah. That. That's vain. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <That's> annoying. <laughs> Hold on. Let me hurry up and ask my questions before my phone dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought you were saying before when you were like, oh, shit. I was like, oh, I cut out. There it goes. Oh, this was, this was a good one. Okay, so let me ask you guys this. Like, would you naturally submit to a man? Like, would you let your man take full control of the relationship? Yeah, I like, I like, I like I love it because they're so different. I like a man, man. Like, control me, baby. Mm, you control me. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, no. so you, if you I were in a serious yeah. relationship, you would not submit to them. That's no. gonna be a lot of. That's gonna be conflict. So you have to be the yeah. one in control. Mm, I like, like, I don't know. I have like a, a problem right now that I'm trying to fix. Where I think I just like to argue all the time. I like both of us in control, but like, you know what I mean. Eventually, like, you submit to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. Like, okay, so you want the man to kind of submit to you? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I think so. So you don't yeah. like you don't like no man in control. Like I'm never gonna be the one to submit, but it's like I'm realizing that it's more attractive when they kind of submit to me after you know. But they put on a, we put up a good fight on both of our ends. Like they're yeah. not like a little wimp. 
You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't, I don't know if I can date somebody where they're, like, constantly submitting to me. No, 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 like, no. I need, like, oh, my God, oh, like, can you be a man yeah. for once? And some <laughs> shit, like, damn, like, do I got to make the decisions here all the time? So I don't know oh, if I, like I can that. do that. I think I'm more of a But I think that you're uh, misunderstanding, energy. like, what I mean, like, oh. with control and stuff like that. Like, what are, what <laughs> I'm not saying, like, controlling, like, oh, my God, like, whatever he says goes. Mm. No, because he oh. also has to put, like, your opinions and your values into, mm. they have, he has to respect that yeah, right yeah. but i'm so, talking about like when you say yeah what do you mean control like submit like become like a like a, oh. a housewife and kind of like you know everybody, cater to him everybody in the chat says i, I would have thought jen is the, uh, the submissive one i know you think that Oh, oh, I wanted Nikki. Nikki, she's no, sweet. I'm she's sweet. not a control freak. No, no. <laughs> she's, 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 one, baby. <laughs> yeah, Nikki Nick is not the control no. freak. No, Jen, I'm the more control freak. Definitely, that's the, that's the funny high, part. My high, high heart rate. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, like I don't know. I'm absolutely like, more controlling. Yeah. So thought. any, but yeah. how do you think that that would work out for you in like the future? I don't know how it's gonna work, <laughs> Kira. Yeah. I'm ready for single Oprah life. I'm waiting for my day. <laughs> Yo, I'm <laughs> calling it a day. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> everybody is different. I mean, that's why I loved asking them these questions because so, I'm yeah. like, everybody is different. And my two friends are my best friends, and they're completely, <laughs> yeah. and completely different. different. Yeah. And oh, would would I submit? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it's because I'm also like, I'm a Virgo, so I'm very controlling. Like, I really? mean, like, yes, like, I've oh, like my whole life, like, I was always like in charge of my relationships. And I mm. think I kind of just was like, oh my God, like, I, I didn't like having to make the every single decision. Like, I like a manly man, like yeah. you said. You know what I'm saying? So I do like that. I, I like that. I like the guy, like, and a little bit of control. I will submit. Mm -hmm. I will. I'm trying to think about this. Because think about it, because remember... Really, I'm not making every decision right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think I am. Right. But, like, I'm thinking... I was thinking more of, like, fighting. You know what I mean? And, like... But Every wouldn't that day. come into effect? But wouldn't that come into effect later, anyways? Because if you're controlling, yeah. you're, in the back of your mind, oh. your values are like, you're, they're so strong to you, right? And his True. is as well. So it's like yeah. you guys are always gonna headbutt Clash. because it's like yeah. one of you guys can't kind of like you know compromise. Yeah. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> You've said it. The word compromise. I know it's my word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Or anybody, my phone is gonna die. I can't see anything in the chat, but is anybody saying anything? Dude, there's a dude in the chat he said, Would you ever date a man that came home from prison after 20 years? Oh, He's gay. The niggas is coming out. Sorry. The niggas is coming He's out. He's gay. Jail. Does he look like that Meeks guy, that guy who was a model? You know, really oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but twenty <laughs> years, some... like I heard some what situation the where there was like uh guy like guys who are like in prison. <laughs> Don't kill me for this, but I've heard this. This is coming from a guy that was like in jail or whatever, but he said that guys that are over that are in prison for over like three years end up getting fucked or Fucking in the butt. Like, that is crazy. But I'm just saying, they end up, you know, because, it, you know, they are <laughs> fu sexually frustrated. So they oh. end up resulting to fucking each other, I guess. <laughs> so they're. So what? So you wouldn't I date cannot, them because they get, they, they're gay? Jen, no, I wouldn't oh. date anybody that was gay or bisexual. That's just my preference. I would not. What if he was raped? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, it's common I'm, in prison. No, it, it is, is common, common. And in he prison. He confided in it to you. What mm -hmm. would you think? That it's. Very I common. would pro. Whoa, that yeah, that would be. What would you do? I think <laughs> that that is <laughs> that, yeah. I have to skip over me because I wow that is um. I think damn, like from, you still really got fucked in the butt. Like it's crazy to me. Like you got fucked in the butt, but not willingly. He screamed no. But it's crazy to me that you got fucked in the butt. Oh. Yo, I can't. So I'm like, I don't know. I mean, and I would appreciate that they, you know, confide, come to me to confide, but I don't know. Most like, like the my, guys I feel like know. my, my, <laughs> my, I feel like, wouldn't you just think like, you wouldn't be able to stop thinking about that, like having to wonder whether, you know, you just, I don't know, like whether they like, I, I, mm, 
guys are different these days. Very different. <laughs> guys are very different these days. Um, so I don't know. Mm. Would you? Would you? Yeah. Here you go. Yo, <laughs> no, we had the funniest <laughs> question in the car, the yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. What do you mean? No. <laughs> yeah, we gonna um, talk about it. <laughs> Okay. Answer the question first. Um, would I? I mean, if he combined them, I mean, yeah. 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 It's not a problem. It is hard because I feel like they come to you, yeah. like confiding you and trusting you. So it, it that that that's a difficult situation. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like I would, but I yeah. I would ask some questions like, so did you like it? Like. Yeah. We can't like, hear you. What'd you say? <laughs> like, like, did, did you, you like, like it? it? Like, yeah. like, are you having these feelings towards other men? Like, I need to know what's up. Like, He's probably going to cry. Just like, to even no. have to ask those questions, I feel like my mind would just take me other places. Like I said, I'm a Virgo. I overthink everything. Oh, so right, my right. mind would just be driving me crazy that the relationship probably couldn't work. I don't know. I saw that uh, Netflix with a... Uh, the uh the football player no was he football player? no no oh, i love him though aaron i know aaron hernandez not him i'm talking about the um the guys central park five the the, the ava duvernay like netflix yeah, yeah, yeah the series yeah and like Corey, they have a scene where he's basically like they don't show the rape but he you know we all know like he gets yeah, raped in prison oh, I and I felt so sorry for him. I don't know. That was such a sad movie. Yeah, yeah. but I was like, God, I'd, I would, I would date him. After. Yeah, I don't like, know if I, I would ever go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. That should just sound bad. Crazy. I know. I know. It's so. Oh. oh my God! Somebody, not to throw off off the topic. Somebody said Virgos are the most difficult to be with. They're almost never impressed or satisfied. Hmm. hmm. Am I like that? <laughs> no. Facts. That is really? not a fact. That is not a fact. I'm so well, right nice. now I you're feel impressed like, and satisfied. So huh? Right yeah. now you're both. Well, yeah, so because I, I feel say. like I've definitely, I, maybe when I was younger, I was probably like, yeah. whatever. But, like, now I feel like I've definitely, be, I've yeah, gotten a yours. lot nicer. And, like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't really, like, go crazy. <laughs> 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 no, but no, 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 no. Don't confuse Virgos with it. They, they, there might be some Virgos that don't when have high standards. When is your actual birthday, though? September 20th. September 19th. Oh, you're a true yeah. Virgo. True, true Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> a true Virgo. But I don't I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I'm like that. I'm just, I don't, yeah, I I'm actually very that. nice. Like, that's the weird thing. <laughs> I always thought you were a Libra. You really? would probably think, yeah, you would probably, yeah. Libras are very okay. sweet. I love Libras. I'm like right there. So I do feel like, yeah, like I'm very like nice. And balance, like there's a balance to you. Mm. At least from my, like work and, you know what I mean, going out he and said, stuff like. Wait, boss box said Virgo men are sweeter? Hold up. That is a complete. <laughs> I don't know. I have no what? Listen, I, I, did, I did a Virgo man. So imagine two Virgos in one household together. <laughs> that is the hardest thing. It's like literally like dating yourself. Like when it comes to like so many things, like so many traits are so alike that it, it's it's scary. But compromise, <laughs> keyword today. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not, but no, but no. Like we're very sweet, so. Yeah, both of you are sweet. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everybody has, like, their ways about them, but I wouldn't say that we're, like, super, like, um, I don't know, never satisfied or anything like that. I wouldn't say that, no. No. Like, anything, but everybody's I'm, experience is different. I get happy for whatever. Like, a hookah, yeah. I'm happy, woo. Like, you know, so I'm not I'm not like that. I probably used to be when I was, like, young, but nah. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody better stop going crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, they're going crazy mm -hmm. on Virgos. Everybody loves science. Yeah. So they're fun. going crazy. Well, well, we have a Capricorn, Capricorn and an Aquarius. Aquarius here. I'm a Capricorn. This I am around too many Aquariuses. They're they're oh, they're yeah, you interesting. Are. That was crazy. I didn't know everybody. Everyone. I used friends. to not like Aquariuses. I used to be like, oh, yeah, I fuck wouldn't like these them sometimes. Motherfuckers. We can yeah, be, yeah. yeah, we can yeah. be very cold. Yes, yeah, very. So I used to be like, mm, but there's so many that I'm around. I know. Capricorns are super sweet. I never had no problems with them Capricorns at all. Are Gemini's, I hate. I don't. Mm, yeah, I, I'm like, not a. Yeah. Geminis are cool. I'm not a big Gemini person. I feel like Virgos and Gemini's are a little bit too close alike, and I feel like they're just very strong, opinionated, and then so are we, and it just it's just like a clash factor all day. Mm. I will debate somebody forever. <laughs> That's a fact. That is you a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. The but I will respect end. somebody's opinion. There's a difference. I can debate about like how I'm feeling or my opinion or anything like that, but I will always respect somebody who thinks different from me. Period. 
So. Oh, okay. All right, Taurus men. Hey. Oh, I like Taurus. Taurus guys are cool. I like them a lot. They're cool. My sister's a Taurus, so. Scorpio guys are not really. I mean, yeah. Either. I don't know how. <laughs> I, but I'm yeah. always attracted to them. It's so weird because I'm like, oh, I'll always give, I'll give this one the benefit of the doubt. And then always. in the beginning, I'm like, it's great. And then it's over time. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic and, yeah. then it's and then it takes a very dark toll yeah 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 very dark <laughs> turn <laughs> they're just a bad just say, turn. It, honestly like these the zodiac signs are real like i know everybody thinks that it's crazy but these traits really like are really real like i don't know how but they it's are so weird it's crazy so yes i do do that check before i end up talking or dating somebody <laughs> what's your sign oh uh, okay i know yeah i hate that i do that though every time i'm always like it's like every time it. yeah well i start what's with the sign? conversation because it's like always an awkward thing because sometimes guys are like ew you believe in that so i do the roundabout way of being like oh how old are you Oh, mm -hmm. when's your birthday? birthday? <laughs> Every Just time, wondering. It's like my go-to line. Like, like, I will never oh. forget your birthday. <laughs> They have no idea. They just think they're just saying it like passively, yes. like, oh, I'll just like, I'm like, I will remember the time, the day, like, I will know everything about Damn, your Dan, you take it to another level. Like, yeah. <laughs> I remember everything. It's so funny. And they always feel bad because they're like, I don't remember yours. And I'm like, oh, your birthday's coming up. Isn't it the night to They're like, Damn, Jen. I said that one time. I'm not that good with birthdays. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anybody have a last question for this segment before we go to break? Everybody's just talking about. Uh, yeah, zodiac. Aries, signs. yeah, mm. no, mm -mm. they have crazy tempers. Um, somebody said Trump is a Gemini. I that know. makes sense. Yeah, that makes so, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no wonder why I hate him so much. It makes a complete <laughs> sense. <laughs> That's so him to the T. <laughs> All right, anybody saying anything else? Going once, going twice. All right, so we are going back to break. Make sure you guys don't go anywhere. We're going to get into our last segment, which is pretty juicy. I feel like we've been taking y'all to church all day. <laughs> so we're going to get into something that's, like, pretty good. All right, so definitely don't go anywhere. Okay. Deuces. All right. Have you bags. Wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Please turn her mic on, please. Mic check, mic check. I'm good. I'm good. Mic check, mic check. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, I'm good now. I'm good. Like, I'm having... right. Everybody be quiet, please. Everybody on the stage be quiet. Here we go. Right. Yo, if y'all don't remember how I does this, I'm good. I'm remind you. It's been three years since I've been here. I had some good times too. If you love me last time tonight, I'm that times two. I work on my time to address bullshit when it's time to. And it's time to. I had, I had the first female battle in Summer Madness. I made history, no doubt. Shit. No, I'm not hustle. I don't need twists to edit no chokes out. Yo, Mr. King. <laughs> I don't need twins to edit no chokes out, yo, Mr. Cameraman. I don't know you, but if this bitch decides to go that choke route and you edit that choke out, it's gonna be non nigga. Long story short, nigga, you getting choked out. A lot of. with you cuz worth the mother this going to be an ugly body but it ain't official oh. you I would have put a large disclaimer because you said some shit that if I was your boss I would have docked your paper you battle here 
and said, fuck New York? I bet you won't say it again. Stupid, that is not going to save you. Fuck Boston. I came to catch a bean bag. Let's play hot potato. <laughs> Target. You gotta come to NY to eat. Everybody I quiz knows you're just a tourist, darling. Now this Chick-fil-A type of way. It ain't no promo in her hometown. Now there she's starving. They say it's food for thought, right? So if I spill up beans, now they really can't promote her in that Boston market. I'm I'm off it. 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 You and your crew rep Massachusetts? Well, in Mass, I choose sex. They stand up, bitches, good. Cause whatever Mass, I choose six. They don't fuck with you. You said you matter in your home state. Where is sad a bitch that carry the mask? Don't hold weight there. Matter, mass, weight. Okay, dear, let's talk about why they did. <laughs> Okay, dear, let's talk about why they here. Cause they feeling you the queen, right? Right. right. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. They, 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 feeling, they feeling you the queen. And I came to contest that. This is my court. I gave you the ball and I give me it back. I came to check that. Cause to be the best, you gotta beat the best. You ain't never had a full court pressed up in your face. You battle star, Ema. Norma, Duchess, of course you're gonna look like a queen, always putting peasants in their place. I'm a top. Yet. Well, now that I face you here, you're gonna curl up. That's a French chef. What I wrote will make your soul fly. Hi, guys. This is your Kira Gorgeous. I'm just Jen. Yeah, I got Bombshell. And oh my God, I'm so repetitive. I'm sorry for whoever's been here all day. But, anyways, we okay. are three queens with a podcast that talks about every single thing. We're not a battle rap channel either. Like, we're not, we're not battle rappers or that. we don't. I know. Yeah. No, I know. No, 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 no. But I feel like it, we have to address it because I do feel like a lot of people come on here thinking that we're going to talk about battle rap or we battle don't. each other. Or I battle actually rap. have, or rap. I actually have seen um, battle raps and I'm like the girl. I love the girls. Like I'm very like super we, feminist, oh, yeah, we watch, like, the and little... I've watched them and they're yeah. good. So, so also like for everybody in the chat, like it's a good 
different speed of things. We have five different shows up here that do battle rap. So I'm right. glad that you guys don't. So you, Thank you. you. talk about women issues. And right. Women issues. <laughs> we talk about women for our point of view. A lot of guys don't see inside what's going on in our heads. Okay? So <laughs> anyway, so they wanted to bring this up before we get into our last segment. So I asked Sneaky this crazy question in yeah. the car. <laughs> but I was just very curious. I was like, listen. If you were dating a guy that was like, like low key, like on the low, or if he was like bisexual, like would you prefer him to be the top or bottom? And this girl fucking <laughs> says the bottom. <laughs> And I said, um, I didn't expect that answer. She's like, whoa. She was like, but and like she was really trying to argue with me. She's yeah. like, but would you rather your man given the dick? Like, and I was like, would you rather your man receive the dick? Like, <laughs> it was really on. Yeah, it was okay. I got up in the car. We were, like, oh, yeah. so like, we were really going back and forth with that I'm shit. Like, I know they probably don't want to hear this shit, but that shit just had to be said. It was hilarious. Like, you guys don't even understand. That's a good question, though. So, did like, you stand by the bottom, or did you eventually? She stood see by the bottom. bottom. I, the she still the bottom. Wow. Dang. And I was like, because at first she was like, no, I just wouldn't date. Like, I got this guy. And I was like, but if you had, had to no choice. Like, like, yeah, and, she was, still and then she was yeah. like, she's like, fuck, I'm going to hate saying this. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, the, the, the one on the all fours. <laughs> <laughs> the one on all fours. But oh my God. I was like, get the fuck. Yo, we're, we, yo, the shit that we talk about, like, That's this crazy. is real life shit that we actually talk about. Like, conversations that we actually have with each other, like, I'm the crazy one, so I'm always asking some random ass weird question <laughs> just All to right. pick their Literally, brains. But yeah. I'm always asking like that. But this is like really like what we talk about, what we gossip about, like on the daily. Like we're right. we're crazy as fuck. But <laughs> anyways, go ahead, Jen. Go ahead with this last segment. We're gonna finish this up. Great. Okay. So I'm going to I'm ask you guys the question of if you guys were you know all your okay i'll set up the situation <laughs> okay <laughs> not that this is me or anything we're taking a turn from what we have been talking about let's just say that it's not too much of a turn not though. too much of a turn no, no, but no, it's no, a no. good question yeah so um say you go out somewhere with your girlfriends <laughs> sorry and you know like back to your club life where a promoter is like hey come out with your girlfriends i have a party situation but you're also talking to a guy you know what i mean you have like kind of a boyfriend situation where you guys kind of were going to meet up at the end of the night, but right. his party ended up getting canceled. So you're like, come on, tag along. He's met this promoter before where the promoter's like, bring him anywhere. Like, they're cool. So you're okay. like, there's no need to tell the... In your mind, there's no need to tell the promoter, hey, I'm with this guy. Right. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because he didn't set it up. The promoter never said, like, where you're going. And right. He before has told you, like, oh, it's just, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> right. So... Whatever, you and your friends, you go to this party, <laughs> you go to this party, and the promoter, you know, brings you to the side and is like, why didn't you tell me that he was coming? And you okay. wouldn't let him in. Would you have left with your, you know, boyfriend, guy you're dating? Or... Oh, God. <laughs> no, or what? No, this is a good question. I feel like... <laughs> really? Like, if you were dating a girl and she t you, you, like, come along with her to a club or a party, would you, like, want her to leave with you and say, like, okay, girls, you go in? Or, or would you be mad if she went in with her friends and, like, you called Uber home? You see what I'm trying to say? It's because of another guy wouldn't let me in the club. Like, right, why yeah, am yeah. I not going in the club? Yeah, right, because of that. Yeah, because, because the guy. guy. Yeah. Because the guy said, like, that sorry, happens a lot this of is a private club, like a private party in the club. You can't get in. Like, there is no way for him to get in. He says, or you say, like, oh, I got to call a car home. <laughs> what home. would you but expect to your girl to do? Yo, yeah. Man, you better be in that fucking car ride home with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at that face. I mean, like, you going to party? Ooh, get into it. Really? Yeah, I definitely... Like, so if I'm home and you out with your friends and, and you like, yo, I'm going to a party, that's cool. But if I'm going with you and I got dressed and we there and it's like, you can't get in and you're not going in either. Oh. I mean, that's... <laughs> That's really? me. That's, that's Honestly, my man. No, they, they look at me crazy because I say the same thing. I'm like, well, damn, if my man was not able to get in with me at the party, I'm just going to go with him. Yeah, that's like if home. another female, they didn't like a particular type and they told her that she couldn't get in. We rode together. We got to go together. Yeah. That's period. So, yeah. I mean, I do understand the opposite where it's like, oh, like if you couldn't get in and I was with all my boys and they say, oh, the girl with you can't get in. 
Um, so it's different for but you. But it, it was different kind of because, like, you know, you brought these girls, and the girls want to go in. They're like, Jen, we want to go into the party. And you're like, <laughs> you know, party. you're the, the one. Party. Jen, we want to go. And then I mean, you're, you're the connector. You have to go in with, otherwise you're, you kind of had, we're split between your friends or the guy you're talking to. And yeah, you chose your friends. Okay? Yeah, you did that. Like, if it, be, if it came so, down to you choosing your friends or the guy. So are yeah. you not going to let your friends in either? Let's no, no, no. The girls yeah. can go in. But they were just saying, like, girls are, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. So, but I'm saying, your friends can go in without you, right? No, I don't feel like they could have. You know what I mean? Because I'm the connector. Mm-hmm. I was dro- I drove them there. They would have had to have left when I left. Because I would have, yeah. That's true. Yo, you going to be on the shit list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you just be mad. You do yeah, it, but like. Very mad. Very mad? Very mad. Oh. Oh. Because think of it, if it was the other way around. And yeah, your guy no, is somebody that's it. known. Right? Yeah. And he's going in with his entourage of his guys. And then they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Shorty oh. is not looking up to par to come into the bar. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Bars. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> okay. I see the issue. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, yeah. all right, like, because you, you're, I mean, you might be a little bit, like, annoyed, like, all right, like, I'm just going to leave. But if when you see a guy you. start walking to the door, you're like, yo, babe, what the fuck? Get your ass over here. <laughs> you got to question his intentions at that point, too. Like, why would if he invited you, why would you not be able to bring who you want? To well, bring? think about it because a lot of like places in New York, like that's what it is. Like you want a million girls there and not that many guys there. So it was if my you're fault bringing, for not, yeah, and I should have like asked. And like, if you asked, it could have been prevented. I just saw, but the thing is, like he's usually said, like, oh, if you ha- bring him next time, bring him, it's fine. And he didn't tell me the particulars of this party. We drive up to the party and girls were in Louis Vuitton. He, like I was just like, Whoa. we had. I thought we were going to a restaurant. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Yeah, ain't no, nothing like yeah. pulling up to a party when you got sneakers on it. <laughs> and everyone's wearing heels. Like that's oh crazy. My God. But you know what I'm saying? But I feel like out of respect like for your guy, like your friends would I feel like they would have to respect your decision also know, because I you're driving. It. So if yeah. you were ready to go, then it's like all right, like I mean gone. if yeah. everyone drove separately, then yeah, that would have been good. But if I But at the end of the day I wanted to go in. Yeah. You know, I just did what I wanted to do. Right. Like, so it's about it's, it's, it's like, about go. the decision <laughs> that you honest. wanted to go in. I wanted to go in. I wanted to go what? in. I just wanted to get in there. I just wanted to get in. Like when I got in, like in a, are you in a relationship mm, or are you not? Like no. you said, not technically in one. We're seeing. We you see. Each- he is not watching. This no, he's shit. not watching. He's not watching. <laughs> we see each other like all the time. Okay, but we're not technically in a relationship. Technically, it's a talking situation, but it's like a it's yeah, a, it's like a main talking. situation. Yeah, it's, it's that dating, step above we're talking. Dating, we're dating. 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 That's the step before we're talking. We're not seeing anybody else. Yeah, so y'all exclusive. Mm, exclusive. Yeah. Exclusively yes. dating. Yes. yes. Each other. Yes. yes. Right. Yes, we are. So did but it's you? Not my boyfriend. So like what? So he got mad and you were kind of like, all right. I was furious. So you and you were like, <laughs> yeah. all right. Should oh, he, he be mad? Okay. Like the like I don't he know. Like what good. would you like? Would you be? You would be mad if if you don't mind me asking. How did you break the news to him? Oh, that wasn't. Good. <laughs> yeah, because I would like to they know just what you would say to me. Well, when order. he the guy told me and like I walked up and then he was like, Jen, come here." And I just thought like, okay. First of all, it was very hard to get in. Period. Like the you could already tell like the. Hotel owner was yelling at him. We're at capacity. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so how I broke it to him well, the whole time he was like telling me like Jen, I'm not gonna be able to get in. I was like, it's fine, like relax, like. And he's like, no, you don't understand. He just kept complaining about it, and I was like, you're good, shush. So then we get there. Well, yeah, I said shush. So then I go up to the like whatever. We get there, and then like I thought things were okay, and then the promoter's just like, yeah, you can't get in. And then I just walked over to him like walk of shame, just like. So sorry, but you can't get in. And then, um, you know, they were with me, so I was like, "Do you guys want to go?" And I was trying to like blink and be like, "Say yes." And then they said, "Yeah, we want to go." And then he was just like, "Jen, it's fine. I'll call Uber." He just instantly was like, "I'm gonna just go home." Yeah, that's how it all happened. 
and then they make that whole situation where it's like, oh my god, you chose your friends over me. Yo, that Uber ride home must have been crazy. <laughs> yeah, he was thinking about that insane. shit every nah, second. Nah, he was on the phone with like four of his dudes. <laughs> like, can you no, believe he, that? He was on friends. Facetime with his other chick. Like, like, can you believe this girl went in without I know, me? That sounds bad. It sounds bad, but like I really didn't know. Like, what was I supposed to do? It's a fucked up position because like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess as a man, you got to take the L, but, like, I'll be pissed. Yeah. But there's some know. guys that would be like, you know what? It's okay. No problem. Just go in. You know, I'm yeah. just going to head back home. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. He's going to say that. No, but I'm saying, like, he, 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 he didn't say that. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. <laughs> but I'm just know. saying. Like, he expected you to leave with him? He, yeah, um, so. yeah. But he wasn't going to, like, be like, leave with me. He was just, like, guilting me. See, I would have been more, like. Well, if I can't get in, that, why can't we just go somewhere else? Oh, oh that's we true. Go, <laughs> that could have been that. good if he. Sure. Yeah, that's really true. He could have been like, oh, like let's go somewhere. Like, yeah. Or he could have been like, all right, so how much does it get in? Yeah. Right. That too, because I feel like a lot of guys have so much pride where they're like, I'm not paying. That's, like, especially if I'm yeah. somebody, they're like, I'm not paying to get no. in. Like, are you are you kidding me? Not for this party. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, no, but I'm saying there are some people who have that pride that are actually, like, somebody because he's somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that he's going to be like, what? Like, it's going to hurt his pride. He's yeah. not even going to walk up to the door to ask the he pay. his ego Yo, was hurt. Boss Black said, if he did that to you, you'd dump him. Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably. I didn't think about it like this. Like, I genuinely didn't know, and I really felt bad about it, but I just... I wanted to go into the party. I mean, nothing was going to stop me from getting into that party. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not the fire marshal. What was it like? No. This, is this like Not the best pandemic. party ever in New York City history? No, but no, I mean, like, there's no parties situation. anymore. There's no clubs anymore. So, like, this was like my, like, you know what I mean? You just shine like a little a little pop smoke in my face and I'm like please get me in what am I gonna go home and like watch put that movies? Dior on and it's over for bitches right? <laughs> I can hear from outside Make the door outside. Yeah, I can hear from outside the door <laughs> you kept calling I do me. feel like it's a I, I feel like it's a de- messed up situation but you also have to take into account like the situation for instance like she if I feel like if she was in the an uh, actual committed relationship very, with a the guy mm-hmm. then she would be like alright like if my man can't get in I'm going home I but know. I feel like I this was like a in, dating situation. <laughs> yeah. She would have went in regardless. I don't sounds know. Sounds good, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you, you, you were going to? <laughs> Me? Yeah. No. I would have just went home. Like, all right, guys, I'm just going to. I know. And after you did that, see, I mean, like, y'all want to Uber home? Yeah, y'all want to Uber home? I'm about to just take, take him home. Because we didn't want to go anywhere else. It seemed like that was the place to be. There was some shit going on. I thought there was. And then we went in and we're like, really? Ugh, this is what I just. Well, really? Um, this is what you just broke up time. with your boyfriend? <laughs> there was nobody in there. Like, it was like bad karma. It was just all, like, it was just making it look like, oh, this is the place to be. And then you go inside and you're like, nobody's in here. There's nothing oh. going on. I guess we're going to get our old hookah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was all for nothing. But you say you're paying for hookah. <laughs> okay. so, I feel bad, though. Yo, yo, I feel bad. The chat got a very good question. This is a good question. Oh, Lord. Oh, he says, heavy, ask them how they feel when they get dubbed. Oh, Nikki never got dubbed. Dubbed? No. I honestly yeah, don't I know what that like, means. To, like, talk to a dude and he never. never. I don't think I would ever even put myself no. in that situation. Like, Mm-mm. I feel like the guy should, if Pro they want to, yeah, definitely. Always. They should be the one to reach out. So I wouldn't even, you know. No, that's not. Mm-mm. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, but if, if that was to happen, you're saying, like, if that was to happen, like, if we were to reach out to somebody and if we got dubbed, Oh man, my feelings would be hurt. <laughs> I would exactly be like, oh, like, I just like getting dis- like rejected. Oh, rejected. Hmm. I, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been rejected. Of course, I've been rejected. But you're different, also. Like Jenna's yeah. a different type of person. Like she will actually go out and get the guy that she wants. Me and Nikki, we're not gonna oh. go out. Like even if we think somebody is attractive or something like that, we're not gonna go out and oh, get them. They would have to be bad. attracted to us. It has to be a mutual kind of thing. I don't want to find mm. out by yeah, getting rejected. Yeah, I give the eye type of thing and then I wink and I'm just, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, and you walk over. Yeah, you gotta you walk, walk over. Yeah. Oh. It's a whole situation. But it's hard to get them to do that. Make the eye contact thing is, I've been struggling with that. Like, what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? The best way is to get your Yo, friend to do Yo, just said she's been struggling with that. I've never been What is going contact. on with your wink? Try it right now. Let's see. A wink? Oh, yeah. you wink at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when... The, I don't wow, know. Like, and he said she wink. Yo, you know, just said you wink. Yo, it just be like, like, like happy. Eyelashes is easier. Wait, wait. That's oh, 
All yeah, right. The They'll be like, shorty, let's go with your eye. <laughs> <laughs> you really winked at them? No, no, Jen. Uh, no, you know, see, you Jen. Jen like, will send. Okay, so Jen will send her friends. So yeah, it's not like she I will send actually go up to the guy. No, she I'm will like, send cute, me cute, to yeah. go get. I'm like, yo, my friend thinks you're cute. Uh, do you think she's cute? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that way, yeah. so yeah. they, if they do reject her, way. then it's like more so like, <laughs> you know, I got rejected they're, they're, through you, through us. So you know, so it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, exactly. But if you were to get dogs, like my feelings would be hurt. I was yeah, like, my oh my god, I actually took the time out to come all the way right. over here and talk to you. And you my know. heart would be shattered. Oh my god, that would that's the my worst. heart would be shattered. I don't know. Some girls got a lot more like confidence. I guess you can say that'll just walk up to a guy. But do you remember? Like, when you went to Yo, that, you like um, me? <laughs> we know some thing? people that are like that. Like, the full, like when we. The you know and with the window, I always think about that moment. That girl was a ten and like was trying to bag and got him, yeah. and he was rejected. Who, Adele. Yeah, yeah. And it was crazy to me because crazy. like, how did she get dubbed? Like, it's just like yeah. she looked so and this good. And the end of the night, like he was in his car yes. talking to her through the wind. You know, like the windows down, like, like entertaining Jesus. her and still dubbed her. Like we witnessed. Like <laughs> like dubbed her. Like what did he say? Did like he was just not interested. smiling and just like. <laughs> Yeah. Like, just like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't even think he got her number. Like, no. But she was spitting game in the, like, like in a way that I was, like, taking notes on the side. Like, oh, my God. Like, just being sexual, <laughs> but, like, not being overly sexual. Yeah, just, just like, that I was taking notes on the like, side. Like, I wanted to date her. I was like, honestly, just, please, just give me, come here. Honestly. Like, that <laughs> really? was insane uh-huh. to me. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, that's a scary, that's a scary situation. <laughs> I feel like guys are so, like, they're used to it. I feel like they're able, like... That's kind of like their thing when they go up to the woman and trying to talk to them. So like they're like okay yeah. with getting rejected or not. I feel like. I mean, maybe right? he has some. But there's some guys that I know that know. will not like. Mad cocky. Mad cocky that won't think that they will get it. But rejected. I feel like it, like they try to be like smooth with it. Like let me get your Instagram and then sliding in sliding DMs. in DMs. What? I mean, like, what? You know, no, you don't need my Instagram. <laughs> no, you don't need my number. Oh, like, really? Because that's the thing. Like, a lot of these people, like, a lot of girls aren't giving out their numbers nowadays. I know Instagram. So, I think Instagram, Instagram is an innocent is, thing. Yeah. It depends. Like, yeah, it depends. Like, if they're genuinely just, like, nice and trying to get you yeah. to know you, like, an Instagram. But it's, like, when they slide in your DM, it's like, all right. <laughs> Okay, I think this was not supposed to be that. If that was the case, wouldn't you have given them their number? Would you tell the guy you're dating that, like, oh, I went to this party and a guy, like, yeah, he was in my DMs, but like, it's just like he's a promoter and just (laughs) like we not DMs actually. It was very friendly. He added you on Instagram and like, would you even tell him that? Oh, you went to a party and like we added each other on Instagram because I don't feel like that's. I feel like that's kind of innocent. Only (laughs) right? No. Oh, Jen, Jen. Oh. Oh my God. She's doing everything wrong. Really? <laughs> yeah, because think about it. You tell him that, Woo! their minds yeah. go, like, there's only so much that they can take. Yeah, I don't know how to <laughs> Their minds that. go crazy. It's like, What's all right, Instagram. It's because guys understand other guys. Like, yeah. Yeah, but for, for why some, don't you trust you me? me? Because you shouldn't even tell me. You should have just um, did it. See, I accidentally said that because, like, I was talking about <laughs> other things. And then I was like, oh, yeah, by the way, he added me, too. And then I was like... Oh, and then all of a sudden it was like a whole, it was a bomb. And I was like, you're not even moving past what else I'm trying to say because you're so hung up on, oh, somebody added me on Instagram, which I didn't think was a big deal. Mm-hmm. He has a lot of followers. Oh. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, oh. talk about this after. Okay. Like, what? Oh, my I God. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, like, I wouldn't Maybe. be, like, upset okay. if, like, somebody at you on Instagram, but, like, if you go out and y'all are like following each other and like DMing each other, like that's a big deal. Yeah, because it's like you're obviously interested DMing, in that person that's, if you're DMing yeah. them. I thought you said he DMed. No, me. no, no, no. Oh. Just like saying casually, like, oh yeah, he added me on Instagram. Huh, Not saying, yeah, that's what I, I mean. Do. Not oh, DMing. Yeah. DMing would be, okay, that's reason for. Yeah, so, but if off, you were yeah. in a relationship, right? And like you gave somebody your Instagram, I probably would. Imagine. I would. I give everybody mm-hmm. my Instagram. Everybody has my Instagram. They add you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, they add your friends. Instagram. Having your Instagram is one thing, but DMing is like no, 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 no. But good. even if so heavy, if you are, you, I don't know if you're in a relationship or not. Oh. <laughs> okay, but if you were in a relationship, right, and you were going asking girls for their Instagram, 
what are your intent? Like, what do you like? There, there has to be like I feel like some type of intent behind it. Like, it's well, like because well, why? If you're asking your girl for Instagram, like, why not just ask for her number? Like, that's what I wonder. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, like when it comes to me, like I have uh, obviously other shit. Like, if it's business, I'll ask for the Instagram. For okay, sure. but like. If I'm trying to take it to the next level, I'm not gonna ask for the Instagram. Okay, so there's different certain types of intentions yeah. that you, so you're just asking a girl for her Instagram just to have her Instagram. I don't feel like any guy just asks a female for their Instagram. Because there's to always have. like something behind it. Like there wasn't just you right. Know, if or, it's not business or anything like yeah. that, I don't understand like or why a guy would be like, yo, right, let me get your Instagram. Aspect. But like if y'all come here and like me and like somebody else like, yo, let me follow y'all because you know we whatever. That's cool, but like. Taking it to the DM or like me trying to DM y'all. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a different ball. Yeah. Game. Of course. Mm-hmm. But that's what I'm saying. But that all goes back to why you asked for her Instagram in general. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why, why else are you asking for Instagram? Ask for somebody's Instagram. Like, you I went had... to go stop a girl in the club. <laughs> like, yo, Shorty, can I get your Instagram? Like, but it yeah. wasn't them that. Way. Like, it was like a general, like, oh, I throw parties all the time. Like, what's your Instagram? See, that's business. Like, yeah, you're throwing business. parties. You obviously need females to come out with but you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But in general... That shit wasn't business. Y'all right. Mm-hmm. No, it was business. <laughs> no, it was business. Oh, I don't... I mean, now it's... I wasn't considered business. I, just cons- I don't know what I considered it. I just was, like, drunk after 1942, and I was like, here's my... Yeah, everybody gets my Instagram. Like, I was like, like, that If I'm point. in the middle of a club, and I, and I pull a girl to the side, I'm like, yo, let me get your Instagram. That's a little, like... I'm what not, it, like, trying to, like, so, look at her. Okay. I'm trying to holler at her, like... That's what I'm thinking. That's so what I'm saying. So understand. why else... It should be circumstance, too. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of guys resort to that, where, like, they'll try and talk to a girl, and then she's like, no, I have a man, whether she has a man or not. They don't care. And they're like, well, me, can I get your Instagram? Let me get your Instagram. Yeah, like, if I'm what? Like, oh, you should, <laughs> you're a model, and I'm like, yo, yeah. get your Instagram. Yo, why am I hurting you? Know? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so let me... So Dominique meet... The, oh no I'm sorry Dominican meat balls <laughs> <laughs> he said asking for an Instagram ain't that um, far from a number though to play devil's advocate no 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 no. you're absolutely right there's, there's no playing devil's advocate we're actually agreeing with you like if you have to go pull over a girl to the side and ask for an Instagram there has to be some sort of intent behind it mm-hmm. like you're not just gonna mm-hmm. you're not asking everybody in the party for their Instagram why yeah. are you asking for oh. that specific girl's Instagram you're obviously interested That's or true. something you know what I'm saying and then you obviously can't think that you can get her number so the Instagram is like the next big thing mm-hmm. I guess yeah, and, it's, and it's the next it's access to you also you I know mean, what I'm saying yeah or sometimes like yeah I don't know I think it just depends on the person Depends on, but I guess I could see where guys are coming from and they're like, oh, they're just like the intent behind it. Right. But then when you explain like why and like at the end of the day, it's trusting the other person. Like what? So what if I gave them my Instagram? Like they're not DMing me. And if they were, I would tell you about it and I probably would like, you know, whatever. Right. Okay. So, but what, is, what would be the reason of getting, giving out your Instagram? I'm trying to, to think. Like, honestly, like, I'm not someone that says no. Like, you know what I mean? I wasn't thinking, like, oh, I'm going to give everybody my Instagram. But if they but ask it, for it, I feel like it's so innocent. It's like Facebook back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. It's just Instagram. Like, I give sure. everyone my Facebook. I didn't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even give everyone my Instagram. Really? I don't. Because yeah. it's just like, it, it's just like, I feel like that's just like on another level of like, mm. like thirst, I guess you can say. Like, it's like, well, mm. I can, obviously. Can't, I'm not bold enough to ask you for your number, so what's your Instagram? Hmm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because it's like, damn, you came all the way over here just to ask me for my Instagram. Like, there has to just be some type of intent. Especially if I tell you, like, oh, I have yeah. a man, and then you keep going oh, with an see, Instagram. Oh, that's different. Like, yeah. That but is but that's what I'm but saying. But I'm just I'm trying th- to think of in that situation. But even if you were my, dealing yeah. with somebody that you're yeah. taking very seriously, like, it's just like, what do you need my Instagram for? Hmm. Yeah, what I'm saying, but that, but that is true. I'm not saying that everybody who gets your Instagram is gonna slide in your DM. No, of course not. I'm not saying that, but I just want to know why. (laughs) Like on his part, him thinking like, oh, it's not as innocent as I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I thought it was innocent. I still think it's. You know, you can't be naive to these situations. Like, yes, we, yes, we are in our twenties, but yes, we're very smart. So we're not gonna, we're not naive. You would say no? Yeah, I like, would say no. Really? You do mm. tell people, no, you can't get my Instagram. Girl, I would just walk away. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I run off really quick. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't be, I'd be like, please. 
That is true. <laughs> That's true. But I we're all very nice. It's not like we're very inti- intimidating to talk to. Like, we're very sweet. No, like, we just all have We can have like, a casual yeah. conversation, but also, like, you know, like, if we're telling you that we're dating somebody seriously, or if we're telling you that we're in relationships and stuff like that, I feel like the guy should respect that. And, and, and they don't. Not, not ask. Person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's yeah. like, why? Like, I feel like they take they take that risk of asking you, and then it's like, damn, like, what if they get rejected from an Instagram? Hmm. <laughs> True. It's like, yeah, me getting rejected through my friend. It's easier. Yeah. That way. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier that way. Anybody else saying anything in the chat? I can't see the chat. They're being rude tonight. They're going a lot. Huh? Uh, they're being rude. Basically, mm-hmm. basically, they're saying uh, if we ask for IG or a number, we're interested. That's true. That's what uh, I said. You're interested, period. If you're asking for an Instagram she over a my, number. My wife is 27. She don't play that shit. If a dude's ask, she gives yeah. my info. <laughs> oh, I like funny. that. That's funny. That that's would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. That's you should try that's that saying. one day. This is why I date older women. It's not that's even true because like there's older guys that ask me for Instagram. This is an old guy game too, not just young. Yeah, young guys. Some older so the boss box said her guys, boss yeah. said her Instagram is private. That's not gonna happen. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Like even if, but if like, just the fact of giving it, it but just the fact of having to entertain them to give them your Instagram is like for what? When you know that you're not gonna add them because you're private anyways. <laughs> why yeah. even say? Yeah, why true. even have the extra conversation? You might as well just walk away. Yeah, I, I agree, Roy Rao. He said relationships aren't as strong as they were years ago. That's I true. do. I do well, agree with that media. because all the social media, no. everybody's pride. It's just so many things. Everybody thinks everybody is it's temporary. So like, yeah. it's a lot of things like that that result in why the relationships aren't as strong. Like, it's crazy, but it's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a little bit more freer. Like, this, our generation is a lot freer than, like, if you grow up in, like, your 30s or 40s or whatever. So, yeah. I think we're good still. Yeah. 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 Right. So, anybody saying anything else? I'm trying to read as I go, but I can't. Nikki speaks. Yeah, yeah, speaks. <laughs> Black, we like you. Don't do this. Um, let me see if I missed any questions that you guys asked. Dude, let me see. Somebody said you miss a hundred percent of your shots you don't take. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. But like I said, I feel like our generation is full of pride. I feel like it's mm-hmm. definitely harder for women to go up to men, mm-hmm. you know, because. God, I wouldn't, yeah. I don't, you just don't know. It. You just don't know. Like, so it's just like, why put yourself in a situation where you can, like, get likely to get rejected? I don't know. My, Like I said, my feelings would be hurt if I was rejected. Yeah. I'm like, damn, yo, really what the fuck? I walked all the way over here. Maybe when you but. start, like, or if, you know, if I was in that mind state, I'd probably act like how guys do, where it's like, they'll put all their eggs in different baskets, just say the same thing to every girl, see which one, you know, bites. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I Somebody do. sent us five dollars. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. He's, he wants us to answer his question. Is Diddy wrong for dating his son's ex? Oh, that's a good one. Ooh. That's, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, why? What, first of all, I feel like she's wrong. <laughs> I feel like I would hold her a little bit more accountable <laughs> for know. dating the son and the father like that's well, just depends crazy. like you're the fucking the son and you're fucking the father but if the son hurt her that bad I, I mean i was the only dude it's it's a spiteful mind i wouldn't oh, do it so but it's, I, I would not that. do it but i'm just saying like maybe mine, so spiteful. i would not do it i do not think diddy <laughs> is cute at all i don't even know how cassie did it i don't money I don't, people go for the money yeah mm-hmm. lori's been Ugh. around so she has been dating <laughs> Oh. She has been dating a lot of people. I don't know, I know. what like what her intentions are, Steve but Harvey she's been dating be some. Like, she's been dating some big about. ballers. You get what I'm saying? I but know. like the whole dating the son than the father. That's just just I'm just thinking sexually. Like that just has to be mind blowing. I feel like yeah. her conscience was probably maybe she didn't insane. have sex with the son. Maybe they just talked for a long time and like maybe she didn't maybe. give it up and but still, she gave I wouldn't it to go dad. From son to the father. <laughs> but aren't you still that's kissing a him? Weird. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like you're still going from like, the son to the yeah. father. There's plenty of other guys out here, and you decide to choose your ex's father. That's so weird. 
Um, get it how you live. Uh-uh. <laughs> get it how you live. But I yeah, I do think saying. that for like a father, I feel like he's definitely wrong for that. Like, you, why would you want to date your son's ex? Like, I feel like I feel like when they're that big, they don't even give a fuck. Like, I feel like Diddy's over here um, fucking fucking trannies. Like, I don't know, I'm but like, <laughs> but, allegedly, but Diddy's allegedly. allegedly. I mean, I don't want to get sued, but I'm just saying, like, mm-hmm. I feel like when you're just like that big, like you just start not to care, like who you're dating, like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like mm-hmm. that's just, like, that's that's breaking boundaries right there. That's, We're that's talk, we line. talked about <laughs> family members dating, you know, the boyfriend or whatever the <laughs> case may be, but that that's breaking boundaries. I mean, what do you guys think in the chat? Like, you guys think that that's okay? Like, I don't know. Let, know, let us know. She nasty. The father is a piece of shit. They're both nasty. Yes. Yes. Maybe they just watch movies. <laughs> no. <laughs> Netflix and <Phil>. No. <laughs> wait. 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 Boss Black, tell me how I'm being sexist. I just want to know. I like to hear um, conversations about this also. So definitely let me know how I am being like, like that. They said, what do you feel about um, polygamy? Polygamy. Says, we talked about this already. We, we did None talk about that. These are built for that, but Jen maybe. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, Wait, no. why Jen? No, why Jen? I don't think any of us would be. Jen is crazier than you guys think. <laughs> All right, when it comes to a guy that she really likes, she's not going to be into that it's lifestyle. So true. It's yeah, so true. we're not into that lifestyle. I don't think that has anything to do with us being young also cuz I saw a comment about that. It has nothing to do with us being young. Everybody has different values and you're only going to tolerate what you you're going to tolerate. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So, if we wouldn't if that's just our values not to be in a polygamous relationship, then that's just what we're into. Like we're not, I don't know. Yeah. Like I'm just I, I'm not really into that. I don't want to have to share my mm, man. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Do, do, do it, what else? No, I didn't. Black, what? I do not hold women more accountable. What? I'm crazy about women. I just feel like her decision in that situation was a little bit kind of careless because I'm very crazy about like just women dating their families ex or even friends like I'm not really into that I don't I, I don't like that but that's just my opinion everybody might have different opinions but I, I wouldn't consider that being sexist I do I hold her more accountable in the situation I wouldn't say I hold her more accountable I would say that she's just as wrong as Diddy would be that's if does that yeah. make sense yeah. I would feel like she's just as wrong as Diddy would be but I just wouldn't put myself in a situation like that. I wouldn't want to date somebody's father. I need to know more about this. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to date somebody's father. I mean, like if maybe if we had a conversation with her, maybe she would be able to explain like why she did it or whatever the case may be. But honestly, yeah. she doesn't even need to explain. Like that's her choice, and that's just what it is. But I'm not. This is my opinion. At yeah. the same time, you get what I'm saying. So you can't. You, you would have to respect. Crazy, you would have to respect my opinion. Like, like I just out. think that she was like that's a out, little crazy. She was in Italy yeah. with her, like Steve, her mom, and, and him. That was wild. <laughs> yeah. No, I I absolutely agree. I do think that they're both dead wrong but it's just like i think like coming from a woman myself like just a mindset of like oh my god i'm gonna go date someone's father it's just a little bit <laughs> crazy to marry or even if it was vice versa i'm gonna go date I if weird, i was dating somebody's yeah. father and then decided to date their son that's just like yeah. that's just crazy to me like i don't know i, I, don't I, I that's know. just crazy if i i find it weird that it's her like she her dad is yeah. Diddy's age. Yeah. Like, that's what to that's me is She just... said she did it because she wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Everybody makes their own decisions, yeah. their own choices. That's, that is, she is okay with that. That is her decision. I'm perfectly fine with that. Who am I to judge? I could fucking care less, probably. But, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, you know, she's just as wrong as him. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like when I hear, when I first heard this situation, of course I'm looking at the, I'm looking at Lori, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, that's a little crazy, you know what I'm yeah, saying? That's but that's so just wild. how I looked at it. I, me, Kira, looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but um, anybody else saying anything? I'm trying to keep up, but I can't. No, just kind of shit. Yeah, they talking shit? What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all want to talk shit? It's like, nah. She knew what she doing. <laughs> All right, so Roy Rell said, how would y'all ladies handle going over your man's family's crib for Thanksgiving and the food was <laughs> oh you're you. I like oh this everything. is a question for me yeah. I don't eat 
anything. anything. Like, when I anything. tell you nobody's food is like my mom's, it's really hard wow. for me to adjust my taste buds at wow. this point because... What did she cook that you were just... Yo, her mom I don't eat... Well, kitchen. period. I'm very picky in general. Like, I, <laughs> when I tell you, I literally mostly eat chicken and fries. Like, it's it's really, so she, really bad. What did she cook? But, like, like what did I she... eat turkey. Like, she'll cook turkey. Oh, okay. And, like, a whole bunch of other side dishes. Yeah. I don't eat, like, mashed potatoes and stuff like that. Macaroni and cheese. All that stuff. Like, yeah, I yeah. eat. But the way she cooks is just... But the way she cooks is just how I grew up and what I'm used to. So, mm. when I go to, like, if I was to go to my man's house, like, like I would be like um like you don't eat yeah can we get wendy's later yeah yeah (laughs) you know what i'm saying but um i don't know like i probably would taste it just out of respect but then i would no i'm not gonna force myself to eat something that i just don't Don't like (laughs) like if it's like fried chicken or something like that and maybe she made it a different way then yeah Yeah. i would try it and if i don't like it yes i tell him yes i i tell him (laughs) i don't like this shit i'm not eating (laughs) can you throw this plate away like (laughs) yeah it's that bad would i tell her no but i think she would probably she would probably yeah she would probably realize that because like that okay so like for instance like with my man like when his mom cooks or you know she cooks different ways right and she fucking you know there's a lot of things that i don't like like uh, as far as like seasoning and stuff like that i'm very big on seasonings and what kind of seasons i like and she already knows like oh my god carrie you don't eat anything it's just hard to please you but it's like no i just i'm very simple you know like (laughs) i don't need all the extra seasonings in there like just just put the season salt and i'm good like that's really how i am so like i don't know but what about you guys um what i tell him or the mother? Yes, I would what be would cool I, with a happy meal. Sorry, uh, somebody said that. I'd accidentally say it. Like, I'd be like, ooh, I don't like this. But subconsciously, I'm like, would oh, say shit, it. did I'm I say it out gone. loud? She would say it. If the mac and cheese ain't hitting, I'm going to be like, oh. She would text me. Would. <laughs> she would text me. Mm. She'd be like, Kara, this shit. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> but I think it's just rude to that flat out say, like, yeah, in front of the mom, like, like yeah, this shit is nasty. <laughs> I think you I was accidentally. Like, you add you a little bit and yeah, then just put it on the side, cover it with paper plate, and just. You know. Oh, mm-hmm. that's the classy way to do it. That's right. it. Yeah. I mean, everybody's I different. I, I mean, like, why not just get it out there? <laughs> Fuck yeah. it. But that's what I'm saying. I would tell like my man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell the mom. Like, I would mm-hmm. be like, you know, because they take that that shit serious. <laughs> yes, I'm very boring with the cooking. <laughs> no, it's not even me boring with the cooking. I just like cook what I like. But like if my man eats something different, I'll cook it for him. Yeah. He just has to tell me like what kind of seasonings to put on it. And then I'll put it on there. But I won't taste it or anything. So if he tastes it and he's like, it's good. I'm like, great. Because <laughs> I'm not tasting it. Like salmon, for instance, I don't eat seafood. So salmon, like I'll make and I don't I don't eat seafood. So he does. So I'll make it just like how wow. he wants me to make Never it. Or I'll watch him you? Like make it. it. No, I, I, I tried fish when I was younger and I threw up. So I'm, at this point, I think I'm allergic. Yeah. Allergic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh All right. We got three more minutes. What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Actually, Xavier, I actually don't like peanut butter and jelly. I don't actually. I don't eat. I don't, like I don't eat sandwiches. Oh my god! Sandwiches. <laughs> really? Oh my god. I really eat everything. Like it's very rare that I don't like anything. I don't know. I just don't like sugar. I don't like yeah. sweets that much. What? Wow, it's weird. I don't like sugar See, in my coffee. His mom. Oh my gosh, she's like the fucking bakery. Like I'll eat oh, anything. So I have. Really? I eat horrible. Like honestly, like I love sweets too. Like I will eat any sweets. Like I can't. But like I don't it's know. really hard with like the regular cooking. Because be I like, see so many no. like my mom is like that person where she needs sugar all the time. Like she'll get a frappuccino in the morning. Like she'll have these little mm, muffins my all the time. <laughs> she'll eat sugar and That's sugary yeah. things. It's yeah. super. I'm like, I can't even, I don't like it. Like, I yeah. don't like, I hate the, it's too much, it's like, I don't like sugary stuff. Salty, though, like, I love salty things. Like, Me too. Salt fry, like, everything. Yeah. It's, yeah, I think I just have more. How do we um, get here? <laughs> I know, I know, it's getting me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Allergic or dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> I might be dramatic. I actually, I actually might be dramatic. I do think that I've been traumatized from back in the day when I first tried. I actually used to eat a lot more when I was younger. I used to eat seafood. I used to like crab legs Dude, and all I that stuff. But cook. yes, I know how to cook. Yes, I know. How just to because cook. I like certain seasons doesn't mean that I don't know how to cook. I actually just learned how to cook. I, I know how to cook. I know how to cook specific things. Yes. Like, yeah. I know how to cook everything. You cook everything. Oh everything. I need a cookbook. 
I use cookbooks. I really she Jamaican, do. so she, you know, she makes all that see, shit. See, I wish I knew how to cook. Her like family that. is like that, you know, like you where she got to be in the it. kitchen. She got to learn. But yeah. I don't love Caribbean food as much as I used to. It's too. What? I find it too heavy. I don't I like rice. Oxtails, rice and peas. I love yeah, oxtails. Oh, oh my god, I love. I, I want some oxtails. I love oxtails. All right, anybody's last minute question, dude. Um, what is the guy supposed to cook for you? What was the question? What is oh. a guy supposed to cook? Oh, me. Oh, that's a question for me. Um, I do. I like steak. I like yeah you, chicken. You, you I like can't oxtails. Put any seasoning on it. No, 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 no. I, it has to be seasoned oh. just the right way. Like, I, there's sometimes like when I'll call just my mom, like, what, what did do. you put on this? And then I'll just tell him, and he'll make it exactly like how that is. So, yeah, but yeah. You can cook for me, but there's but then like there's cases where like you know like I'll go to restaurants and I don't even like like their chick the way that they say it. <laughs> like I'm very picky like it's, it's we don't even need to get into this conversation because the pickiness goes crazy so yes all right so nothing okay yeah all right we try to answer the questions any last questions. Before we cut this off. <laughs> no more questions. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Definitely stay tuned for our next show. Okay. Because we have a lot to talk about. And you guys Two weeks. will be oh, excited. Wait, no. no, next we'll week. Be, we'll be Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we next week. Here. Yeah. Yes. They won't be here. But I'll be next here. And be I have two special anyway. guests yeah. that will be here. So definitely, definitely Big tune guess. in. You're not going to want to miss. Guess. Believe me. <laughs> you won't want to miss. I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to be watching it. <laughs> You're watching it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but thank you guys. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope to do. No? Okay. I'm not doing that. All right, I'm on well, vacation. Sorry. Yeah, she's yeah. on vacation. No more jobs. Okay. But thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the comments, whether they were good or bad. But if they're bad, I'm going to get your ass. Like, nah, I'm just kidding. But anyways, yay. Tune in next week. Okay.